Hey guys, it's Milka. Welcome back to my channel, Nateyom. Today we're doing another, well, another love, re another love reading, I would say. Um, and we're going to be looking at a couple of different things. Mainly this will be more so like a message from your person. So I've created these shoddy little <laughs> origami frogs with a little note. Um, the notes are kind of like in a poemy style, not necessarily rhyming. Uh, they're not like really long either. And then there's also a song that goes with each group. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I inhaled too deeply um, and choked on saliva. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, but before we begin, I did want to do a little bit of a self plug. So um, just for those of you guys who are returning viewers and for those of you who are new as well, who are interested in a private reading, I do do private readings as well as um, I make these custom crystal bracelets. So I only have one of them on. I've got a few. I've made I've made quite a few, but um, the ones that I have for myself, I feel like I need to expand my collection that I have for myself at the moment, at least. But this is one of the ones I have. All of the custom uh, crystal bracelets are completely custom, so I haven't made a duplicate yet, unless it was specifically requested. They are all uh, attuned with light language and Reiki, and they're attuned to your personal individual energy as well and they're um, made custom for whatever it is that you would like to embody or bring into your life. Um, <clears throat> what the next chapter is, some of them are just protection, which I've had a couple of people that just wanted a bracelet for protection. Some of them help to like heal heart chakra related stuff or to embody more of like courage, confidence, or uh, step into your dreams, all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, so if you guys are interested in either a reading or a bracelet, you can reach out to me either through the contacts page on my website or through um, my email, which are all listed in the description box below. But yes, without further ado, let's get straight into the group selections. So for um, the group one, <laughs> we have this purple heart frog, okay? So this is for group one. Well, I could make I can make them jump. Let's see. I think this is my first time doing it. Yay, a little jump. Okay. So that's that's group one. Okay. So for group two, we have this pink hearted frog. All right, you guys. Let's give you guys a little jump too. Let's see if this one will work. Yay! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I swear, sometimes I feel like a child. Uh, it's okay, it's because I am. Anyway, <laughs> right, the inner child, it lives in all of us. Group three is this... Oh, actually, this is supposed to be group four. Well, now it's group three. Okay, <laughs> group three is this uh, sort of like a grayish blue heart, right? It's a blue heart, but let's get a little jump out of you as well, my friend. Wow, look at that. Oh, that was so much fun. Wow, you, you got the biggest jump so far. Whee! This was also the last frog I folded, so I think I got a little better at the jumping mechanism, but the legs are so much shorter <laughs> than all the other frogs. The legs got a little, a little, yeah. Whee! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Yay! Okay, let me stop. Um, I have serious work to do. Okay. <laughs> and then for group four, we have this gray heart. Okay, so let's get a little jumping sample for the gray heart. Oh, can you, there you go. Whoa, this one jumps pretty well too. Yay, okay, so that was gray heart. Um, let me see, can the others jump better? Did I just do them bad? Oh wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that one, that's, I think, the maximum limit, and then you... Wait, come on. This one, this one, <laughs> this one can go the distance, but not in a very high way. Hold on. But this was also the first frog that I made. So it's, it, this one doesn't jump, it, it goes to where it needs to go. <laughs> it's like, do I have to jump? I'll get there how I get there. 
very unique individual frog. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to give you a moment to select your groups and then we'll get right into your readings. Hey group one, this is your group. If you chur, uh, chers, if you chers, <laughs> if you chose this very cute purple hearted frog, wee, who <laughs> is the first attempt. So his, oh, I didn't even realize how shoddy his legs were. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, that's okay. You know, he goes far, he goes pretty far but he just doesn't jump there, you know? He's a unique frog. He's like, nah, I don't jump. I I get to where I gotta get. All right, you guys, so this is your group. I finished shuffling your cards. So we'll start, we have the tarot portion here. And we will also have oracle cards as well. So I'll set the oracle cards aside for now. Um, and I think let's start off with your with your little note and your song, right? Because let's just start with the good stuff. It almost feels like a shame to unfold them. <laughs> okay, um, maybe. Oh my goodness, why why do I always do this to myself? I <sighs> the first thing I ever had with letters, I used a wax seal on a paper that is so thin. I decided not to do the wax seal because I'm still going to use this thin paper and do origami and now <laughs> I'm trying, okay? I'm trying to make it cute for you and okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. So like I said, these are really short little things. They're kind of in like a poem style, but not at the same time. So yours says, forgive me my love. Forgive me for taking too long. Forgive me for keeping you waiting. Forgive me for making promises that I'm still trying to keep. I've known loss in the last couple of years. It's slowed down my progress. It's held me back. It's kept me from you. I had never dreamed of a love we are destined to share. Please take care of yourself and, final, oh, and find time before I come through. Oh. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry for the cut, but I started reading your letter and I got lost in, in my handwriting. I, so I'm gonna read it over. Um, and yes, so I, I wrote these letters two days ago, so I don't really remember what they say. And as I started reading your letter, I was like, oh, I'm starting to remember a little bit about your person. But yes, yeah, so um, starting over. Forgive me, my love. Forgive me for taking too long. Forgive me for keeping you waiting. Forgive me for making promises that I'm still trying to keep. I've known loss in the last couple of years. It's slowed down my progress. It's held me back. It's kept me from you. I had never dreamed of a love that we are destined to share. Please take care of yourself one final time before I come through. Please keep good company. Please eat well and healthy, good portions and no skipping meals. I like you meaty, winky face. <laughs> Please brush your teeth morning and night. Don't get lazy, my love. Don't spiral, don't fall into depression. Please be good to you the way you would be good to me. And please, baby, for the love of God, please remember that I'm waiting to forever yours, your person. Okay, you guys, that was a very sweet, um, a very sweet letter. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, your person, I, I started remembering like their vibes when all of that happened and whatnot and um, yeah, your person is, I felt when I was reading your love, your letter, so much heaviness from them. And I just, I feel as though they, de they genuinely went through a very hard time. And I felt the heaviness in my heart, like a, a true longing, you know, um, you're not the only one who's waiting, you really aren't. And 
and it's really hurting them too. Like it, I literally, I'm telling you guys, I felt like a physical, like, like a heaviness on my heart. Um, and I do feel like they, they had lost uh, quite a few people because they said in a couple of years, you know, so this is around the time when the COVID pandemic was happening. And I think they probably lost, like it did set them back work-wise and everywhere that they were planning to go. And let's get into your song before we start your cards. Um, and your song is Someone to Fall Back On by Jason Robert Brown. Oh, you guys, this is such a, a beautiful song. And it, the lyrics are, I am no, and th this isn't the full song. This is just parts of the song, but I am no prince. I am no saint. I'm not anyone's wildest dream, but I can stand behind and be someone to fall back on. You don't believe me, but the things I have are the things you need. I am no prince. I am no saint. And if that's what you need, and if that's what you believe you need, you're wrong. You don't need much. You need someone to fall back on. And I'll be that. I'll take your side. I'm the only one. I'm used to that. I've been alone. I'd rather be the half of us, the least of you, the best of me. And I will be your prince. I will be your saint. I will go crashing through fences in your name. I will, I swear, I'll be someone to fall back on. I'll be the one who waits. And for as long as you'll let me, I will be the one you need. Your prince, your saint, the one you believe you need, I'll be. I'll be someone to fall back on. Oh, chills. So many chills. Wow. All right, guys, let's get right into the cards. So there is no, there's no, um, like, oh, any specific things. There's one tiny specific thing once we get to the Oracle cards, but this is just kind of, I kept it very broad and open for when I was shuffling. And oh, that reminds me, when I was shuffling, a sensation that I felt was that your person is around a lot of energy vampires right now. Like, again, they're really struggling to maintain their energy. They're just, they're also in this kind of field. I feel like that's part of what they do for a living. They're surrounded by energy vampires, by like dark energies. They could be doing stuff in like law, um, justice, certain like, um, and, and maybe hospital, I don't know about hospital, but it could be like, I'm getting more of like a law, like legal system. Like, I just, I feel like wherever they are, they're trying to help people. They're, and even if it's not actually legal stuff, it's just they're trying to help people and they're facing a lot of negative energy um, because since they're helping people, they have to deal with a lot of, a lot of dark things. Um, so we have the devil. We have the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Hermit. The Nine of Swords, yeah, your person, your person is going through it, you guys. The Four of Pentacles. Um, let me see. Actually, maybe I can move this up here to give more space for the cards. Okay, we have the Five of Swords, the Ten of Cups. Now that song is stuck in my head too. The Four of pentacles again the ace of wands the two of pentacles the five of wands and the empress yeah okay i feel like your person is really good at a lot of things i feel like they are currently single uh and they have been single for at least the last six months um i feel as though it's really hard for them to find somebody that they can spend time with because of their work and they dedicate a lot of time and energy into their work and they just can't help it. They they love what they do. They do it so passionately, you know, whatever it is. And like I said, it doesn't have to be legal. It's just legal is the first thing that comes to mind, but I, I feel like they genuinely help people, you know, and they have to face a lot of if not dangers, then, then like some kind of 
hardship. So they could be either in like um, the police department, the fire department, they could be doing like, like I said, law, they could be, uh, or part of the judicial system in some way. They could be, um, if they are like doctors or dentists or whatever, or like anything in the medical field, then maybe they've done like volunteer work. I think I mentioned this in a, in a previous reading or something where it was like Doctors Without Borders or, you know, the other equivalences of that. Like, I just, I feel like they've gone on like missions or something to help people. It's really part of their, uh, their life to, to genuinely help people. And, um, and I feel like they're so good at helping everyone else, but when it comes to themselves, I think they've just sort of accepted it as like, well, this is my life, this is my fate, you know? That, oh, they even said that in your letter, right? They're, I shouldn't have folded up your letter. <laughs> that was really silly of me. I shouldn't have folded it right away. Because um, what if I wanted to reference it again? Oh, well, I will go off of my memory. But, <laughs> but yeah, even in the letter, right? They said like they never dreamed of having the kind of love that you guys are destined to have. It wasn't something that they fathomed for themselves, I think, because of their previous relationships, you know. I think with their previous relationships, they tried to be good. It's not their fault. They didn't know any better, but they were just, again, I feel like very much workaholic vibes from this person. So I feel like they were too busy and they were still building themselves and they were going through whatever it is that they were going through during the pandemic. Um... And it made it very difficult for them to do that and to do what it is they do for a living. They've learned, by the way, that they need to compromise. I think that's something that's important to say. And that's one of the things that they want to let you know, too. They're like, I've learned how to compromise. I know how to be a good... Because um, they are caring, they're compassionate, and they do like to do like acts of service and all this stuff. It's just their time is very precious to them. And so that's why they're saying like, I've learned how to compromise. I realize that my time is the most precious thing that I can give to anybody. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be sacrificing that for you. And it's not gonna feel like a sacrifice, okay? I, that's just for lack of a better word because they want somebody, they are lonely, okay? They've been doing it, like they're a pillar, you know? This person is a pillar of strength and um, even here, like you see, you see how they protect people? Like your person is this vulture protecting this this girl, keeping, keeping this girl safe. And they have the four of pentacles twice, you know? And even with the devil, again, I just feel like they're, they go up against really heavy stuff. And, um, and they handle high stress situations, but they take away from their life a little bit because it's all about others. This is where they get their, their, um, you know, like this is where I think on some level they determine their worth from this, from how much they can give, but they genuinely want to give. They want to see a better world. Um, and I think this is going to, you guys, this relationship is going to be the next chapter, the next phase of their life. And they're going to realize they need to slow down. They need to take it easy. They need to kind of cut back on how much they give. Um, at least for, for a little bit, and then you guys can find compromises, you know? So don't worry about this person not having any time for you. You guys would not get into the relationship. Like, you just not, you, you guys know already enough about your worth to be like, I'm not going to settle for less, okay? So I don't think you have to worry about this person um, not giving you time. That's something that I feel like you guys are going to have a clear discussion about, and I think they're going to be 100% willing to give you time and energy, um, because again, like I said, this is something that they've experienced issues with in regards to relationships in the past and they're just, they're, they feel so done with it. They just need a little bit more time as they get everything else sorted out in their life. I feel like they have some kind of a project or a business that they're doing. This person again, like feels like very, it doesn't matter what's going on around them. If there is a goal, if they said, I will do this. No matter if there's all this, like, for example, if, if, if they had a manager who was like, this paper is due Monday, you know, or, or no, actually, <laughs> that's such a super, that's more like material, superficial, but let's go back to like what I was saying with the law example, right? Say, for example, if they're, um, they do law work to help people who are trying to get citizenship or who are on the verge of being deported for false things or whatever. 
and so or like rescuing orphan children from other countries i don't know how that kind of stuff works or like asylum right refugee stuff so they have to create some kind of an appeal or something and it's due monday you know but at the same time everything is falling apart in their life they've lost somebody there's something else going on this person will stay up all they it's almost as if they will somehow pause time they will use every moment of the time to get exactly what they need to get done for this client that they're also defending while also managing everything else that's happening in their personal life. Like this is the type, they're like, I will not, not finish this. They don't quit, you know, like they're, they don't, I'm not saying that they stay in a situation that doesn't serve them for a long time, but they really try to resolve it before they just go somewhere else. So they have this determination and I feel like because of that, they're actually really good at what whatever it is that they do, but also at a lot of things, period. <laughs> it's making me think of that. I'm not going to lie, okay? Um, I have been watching a lot of Korean dramas in the last couple of weeks. And um, I, I don't know, I go through these periods, you guys, right? Where like there was a point in my life where I was just watching so many Bollywood movies and I had to actually stop myself because Bollywood movies are long okay it takes a while to watch just one movie then if you watch another one it's like you spend the whole day just watching tv and then I kind of felt like shit you know um but yeah so there there I there was a period of my life where I watched a lot of Bollywood or like I would go back to Bollywood movies more frequently but recently I found that I really have been watching a lot more and like with some Asian stuff sprinkled in, you know, but I have been watching a lot more like Korean, uh, Korean dramas. And sometimes I'll get like some Chinese dramas in there too. <laughs> but like, yeah, I've been watching a lot of Korean shows. And this is kind of making me think a little bit of, um, there's this one Netflix one that was like based off of a, a comic or like a webtoon. And it's called A Business Proposal. And like one of the characters, like the, the lead male character he tells the girl he's like i'm good at a lot of things <laughs> and that's what i feel like your person is your person and he genuinely was by the way good at a lot of things like he he really was so i feel like that's your person uh as well okay so that's the tarot the tarot portion and again i feel like this person especially like if you guys start a family together um they will have this new kind of like commitment to life and to you it's it's like a renewal to remind them like why why they are and by the way family doesn't necessarily mean you guys having kids uh it just means like you guys moving in together and like conjoining being like a family or adopting um a child an animal companion you know so i i just feel like you guys are going to help them see why they've made the decision to give more time to this part of their life um, because they do have a longing. They've just suppressed it with all the busyness that they've got going on, you know, but there is a part of them that really wants this. Uh, they just didn't realize it. And now that, now that they're like going through this and whatever, like their heart still longs for things and it longs, it longs for you. It longs for this kind of a connection. But I think they were, um, they were just hiding it from themselves for some time, you know, because they, they distract, they have a really busy, really like kind of job. So they allow themselves to get distracted. Okay. Let's see what else we have. And again, I do feel like, like their last breakup was really hard on them, you know, um, because it's not that they didn't care about the person. They really, really did. And that's what made it hard because they realized like, oh, I, um, I can't give my time to this person. Oh, I mean, look at this. Okay, so then we have King, light attributes, enlightened, benevolent leadership, benefiting those in your charge. Shadow attributes, excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. But look at the, the light, right? Enlightened, benevolent leadership, be benefiting those you uh, those in your charge. I feel like that for real. Oh, and this matches your, your heart, kind of. And we have giraffe, dolphin. Look how beautiful this card is. Wolf, 
of Wall Street. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, nightingale. Earthworm. And whenever I see this nightingale, not always, but like at least now, it made me think of Cinderella when the sisters, the stepsisters are singing, sing sweet nightingale. Ah, like really badly, you know, unicorn. <laughs> uh, the tribe. Ask for help. Oof. Uh, what do you really need? Be willing to accept support. Mm, that is your person in a nutshell. And we have Aquarius. Uh, the Bundedum. This is the end of summer. Ooh, the sun. And then we have these two cards, which I'll read after, I suppose. We have turquoise and sulfur. Boop. Okay. So, I guess this is going to give us a little bit more about your person. I really do feel like, remember I was telling you, it made me think of a, a business proposal. Well, the guy that was like the love interest or whatever, he is like the CEO of the company, you know, he's in charge. And like, same thing with your person, right? I was getting the vibe, like they, they manage a lot of very important things. Um, oh, this is hilarious, right? The giraffe is the tallest, one of the tallest animal, if not the tallest animal that's on land, right? So, <laughs> uh, so they have this higher perspective while at the same time as being grounded, right? It's not like they just kind of doze off with like an eagle perspective. Like this person has practical approaches and they have this at the same time of being practical and really grounded. They have this incredible way of being able to see a higher perspective to find all kinds of solutions. Um, because usually when somebody is just getting a bird's eye view, they can be disconnected from the situation and it can be like, they have solutions, but maybe they're not always the most ideal kind of solutions, but your person is grounded at the same time. It doesn't, they're, they don't become disconnected from the situation, which makes it easier for them to consider other people's feelings and multiple outcomes and what the practical way of approaching something is, as opposed to just getting an understanding of what should be done. Um, I also feel like I was saying, like, even with this wolf, like they, first of all, they have very much protector vibes. Remember I was showing you the vulture, like sheltering that little girl. Then you have this king, right? With the benefiting those in your charge, like in your charge. Um, they have very much protector vibes. Like they will stay up all night to do what it is that they have to do. They're very determined. Um, they can be very fun, very playful, very silly. I feel like the kind of work environment that they create, <clears throat> like they would be an incredible boss, you know? And it actually makes me think of something that my dad told me once. My dad told me like, uh, even if you meet like, like guys, right? For example, not just guys, but people in general, right? But he was saying like, somebody could be an incredible friend, an incredible business owner, an incredible a uh, parent but they could be a really bad um uh like husband right or wife so it doesn't just because somebody is really good in one area of their life doesn't mean that they necessarily know how to manage another aspect of it and i feel like that's kind of the case with your person like everybody probably thought this person would be an incredible spouse, but then they probably also missed out on romantic opportunities because some people would be like, oh, this person would never have time for me, you know? Um, so like they're good at everything. They would be an incredible parent. They would be, they have incredible like work uh, environment. They create an incredible work environment. They would be an incredible parent, which I already said, my bad. <laughs> Um, and like, they're, they're just like good at everything too. But when it comes to love, it's like, they may not be the best. That being said, do not be scared, right? You wouldn't be with this person if you felt like they weren't good for you. So the fact that you are with this person, I just, I feel like you guys are a new experience for them. There's going to be a lot of communication between the two of you in regards to what is okay and what is not and i feel like you guys are actually going to be very very vocal in this connection and be like look 
I get that you have to work. That's okay. I have friends. I'm going to hang out with my friends. Or I have a life outside of you, you know? Like, it takes a certain type of independence to be able to be with a person like this. And I feel like you guys have it. Because this person is also, is also independent. And they had a fear of being trapped in a relationship before. Um, but because you guys are independent, right? And you're like, okay, I have my own life, you know? Uh, you're able to understand that for them too and you just communicate you're the one who helps encourage the communication that's not to say that they don't talk they do because they like I said you guys they're really going to put in an effort with you because they've learned from all of the past experiences and their last breakup was really painful because they genuinely cared about that person but they couldn't give them the time that they needed um, so I feel like you guys are going to have like this by the way these three cards are how your person sees you Right. Remember I mentioned in the beginning of the reading, like there's only one part where there's like a set intention and that's these three cards. So, oh, I just realized the nightingale is here, right? This is like communication. This bird literally has its mouth open and then you have the earthworm and the unicorn. So I feel like you guys are going to be leading the commun the, communi blah, the communication. Your person is going to be very like they're going to admire you. They're going to look at you as a pillar of strength, too, which is hard for them because usually they're the strength, right? And they're not used to being able to take a backseat. And I feel like you guys are gonna show them like, hey, you're not here just for me and I'm not here just for you. We're here for each other together, right? So it's okay for you to sit in the passenger seat. I'll drive this time, you know? Um, which this person really needs. That's something that you'll you'll have to teach them, I think. Or I think it's actually going to be surprising how much they, like you say it and they just apply right away, you know? Like I was saying before, like this person puts in the effort. And so you tell them like, hey, maybe the next time try it differently. And they're going to remember that. They're not going to make the same mistake two times. Like they make a mistake, you correct it, and that's it. They correct it. They're very like anal in regards to themselves like when it comes to being like okay like they're very strict with themselves I would say which is what allowed them to have such an incredible work ethic and show up for people in this way right and help so many people I also feel like um again this person is funny they're really creative I feel like they have they've got jokes you know I feel like they've got jokes uh <laughs> And you guys are going to get along really... Oh, look, there are actually giraffes in this card, too. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to get along really, really well. Um, you're going to get on really, really well. And it's going to be nice for them because it's going to feel like a friendship, you know? And I think that was something that they've struggled with in the past is, like, the last relationship did feel a little bit more like a friendship, too. But I think there's going to be a little less pressure on them to perform because they feel relaxed with you, you know. And like I said, they, they have learned their lesson and so they're willing to make this change moving forward in relationships. Um, I feel like they also, and they are going to, you guys are going to feel very much like a soulmate connection. Like both of you are going to be drawn to each other from the beginning. You guys have a very similar vibe. I feel like your energy is very similar. Though you may not look the same or have the same field, because I don't necessarily think you guys are in the same type of work, line of work. And I don't think you'd be interested in doing what they do, to be completely honest with you. And they wouldn't be able to really do what you do. I think you guys admire that about each other, too. You're like, wow, that's cool. Not for me, though, <laughs> you know? And, like, they would feel the same way about you. They're like, whoa, that's so cool, but not for me, though. Um... Which is good. It provides a nice balance. I also feel like they, they think you're so special and so unique. And they are so grateful at how much you're able to take charge in the relationship and help guide them and show them. Because they're, they're a great leader, but that's also because they're a great student. And I just feel like you guys showing them like, hey, this is the way you would do it. This is what I need to be emotionally fulfilled. Like, they're really grateful for how you guide them. I don't think, I think they have this image in their mind that like, oh, the, like people are not like that, you know, especially the people I find romantically, like I have to be the one who's in charge or they're the ones doing, you know, like I, I think they didn't expect to find somebody like you who can manage it so well. Um, and I feel like you guys like having things your way. 
So this actually works out in a sense because you're training them to, to do things your way and not in a way where you're taking advantage of them, but like you're showing them like, this is the kind of relationship I want, you know? And they're like, then this is the kind of relationship I will give you. <laughs> um, let's see what else we get here. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. I also really feel like they admire your creative side because I feel like you guys are more, more of the artsy type. And they love that about you. I think some of you guys could have a very beautiful voice too. Like they probably really enjoy hearing your singing voice. Even if you're bad, like to them, it's like, wow. <laughs> uh, and I feel like they would want you to either read them stories or to serenade them. <laughs> like to sing to them when they're sleeping or something. Um, I feel like you're also going to be helping this person realize that like that equality thing I was telling you in a relationship, right? Where you guys can take turns driving. Um, you don't have to handle everything all at once. This isn't your job. This relationship is not a job. It's us sharing with each other, you know, putting an effort, but not because, oh my goodness, we're like, not, not to the extent where like he's, or uh, he or she is burning themselves out, right? Um, like how they can with work sometimes. But I do feel like they have a lot of stamina. Um, in the bedroom but also like in life be to be able to withstand like it takes a lot of energy to be dealing with energy vampires dark things to be putting in so much energy and persistence and doing things like they this person works out for sure i don't think they'd be able to function if they didn't um it's part of their daily routine they will always make time for it i think that it helps them unwind and it helps them to stay motivated and focused um but yes, I also feel like you guys are going to have a very unique uh, kind of a relationship. Like maybe, uh, for example, it's going to be unconventional, right? Like you guys could fall for each other really fast. And somebody would be like, well, when you feel this way about somebody so intensely, maybe you should just get married. Or maybe you should just move in together. Why are you, you basically live there. So why don't you just stop paying rent on your end and go live with them? And it's like, well, this person is just enjoying their... Maybe they lived with roommates for some time, just not because they needed to, but just because, you know, maybe they lived with family for some time to help their family. Now they're finally doing little things for themselves in their personal life, which is what also leads to you guys coming into this relationship. And so maybe they want to enjoy that, like having their own place for a little bit. And I feel like you guys are going to be in your own place, you know, and you guys are going to really be like, well, this is the first time I'm completely living on my own. Oh my goodness. How could I forget my rings? Sorry, guys. <laughs> priorities, right? Um, priorities. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I feel like you guys are gonna be uh, are gonna be doing the same thing. You know, you're gonna be like, well, I really love the fact that I have my own place because I've lived with people my whole life, whether it's family, roommates. So even though you would be staying in each other's homes, you know, for a duration, like, you could literally stay at each other's home, like, one of you guys could go, like, you could go to them for, like, a week, or maybe even two weeks, you know, and then come back home for, like, a week, and then go back to them, and so somebody in that situation, like, from an outside perspective would be like, why don't you just move in, and you guys are like, we enjoy having our own places, you know, and people aren't gonna get it, but it's because you guys are so independent that I just, I feel like you guys are gonna have a longer courtship, you know, like, you guys know, like, oh, we have this kind of a connection. And we know that we can go the long haul, but we're enjoying taking it slow. We're enjoying doing these little cutesy things. Okay. And da -da -da. I feel like you guys are going to really have a, a joyful connection, too. I know that it was very serious, but I feel like you guys are going to be like kids together. It's going to be very playful when you guys actually do come together. And then with turquoise, we have peace, tranquility, patience. Tranquil and calm, turquoise reminds you that there are gifts in the everyday and each moment in your life matters. Ooh, that is literally what your person is learning. Small things add up and become big things over time. Have patience for all your labors of love, including yourself. Regarded as a bridge between heaven and earth, turquoise is a sacred stone in many Native American traditions and used as a source of healing and connection. Link to the heavens within yourself, the parts that bring you joy and remind you of your own inner magic. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces, Jupiter, Venus, and Neptune. I feel like this is, these two cards are going to be messages for the both of you guys, to be honest. 
And then we have sulfur, volcanic progress inventive. Sourced from volcanic areas, sulfur is an excellent companion for bottled up emotions that can manifest as skin conditions, fevers, and emotional outbursts. It also smells like eggs. <laughs> That's not on the card though. Sulfur has a negative electric charge allowing it to absorb toxicity and destruction from your surroundings. Sulfur also brings to light the natural disasters in your personal landscape, highlighting your shadows in order to clear the path for renewal. This opens up awareness of triggers that can cause eruption, placing consciousness in action. Leo, sun. Interesting, you have the sun energy twice. Okay, and actually, before we go, guys, I'm going to do a little shuffle. Okay, I'm going to do a little shuffle of my personal cards that I made because I haven't actually used these in quite some time. But we have, that's a no, rejection is redirection. I'm going to take the bottom here too, which is I promise with the number six, material. Um, so I feel as though, ooh, and my phone rang. You rang. Um, <laughs> So I feel as though with the with the no card and the I promise, I just I feel as though this is talking about um, the direction of the, your person's life that they're currently in. So honestly, it just kind of feels like it's summarizing everything, right? Like there was too much focus on like their external world. So now they're trying to focus on the things that serve them. And then no and rejection, I think at some point, I think in the beginning, you guys may actually reject your person um, because you're going to give them the same thing of like, hey, you're not going to have any time for me. I'm not interested. <laughs> like you're attractive, you're sweet, you're funny, you're charming, but you're not going to have any time for me. So no, thank you. But your person is going to be like, please, please, just give me, give me a chance. And I will prove you wrong. Like, I feel like that's what I'm saying. I feel like you guys are going to start as friends because like there could be that interest, but you're going to be like, mm, look, I like you, but I don't think we'll, we'll be able to work this out, you know, because I need someone who's more committed to me. And your person is just going to be like, okay, well, can we be friends? And as you guys are friends and you start seeing these traits, like you're going to start like falling for them too, you know, you're going to be like, okay, maybe we'll like, give this a shot. And we have seven the North Node, 13, and Sagittarius. Okay, 13 is making me think of the death card, which is talking about like the transitions, right? So the transition of this new phase in their life, uh, of them quieting down a little bit. So again, they're still gonna have a hectic life, but I think it's gonna be calmer than what they're used to. Uh, because before they were building something up, now they're just sustaining so they can slow it down a little bit. They realize like they don't want to be like 50 years old when they finally slow down and have time for a real relationship. Uh, with Sagittarius, again, it feels like expansion in a new direction. With the seven, it makes me think of the seventh house. So expansion in love. So they're putting an end to the things that they were, they're putting an end to this, this cycle that they were allowing themselves to keep repeating that kept them from being able to develop in the romantic department and they're trying something new and i think they're going to realize that that love is part of their mission in this life okay all right well that was your reading group one i hope you guys enjoyed i would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below i know this was a little like sporadic let me know what you guys thought of the little frog <laughs> Maybe the reason your frog wasn't jumping was because your frog was tired. <laughs> so it's like, I'm going to get there. Because remember I said they're persistent. They're like determined, right? They're not going to jump, but they're going to get there anyway. Oh, now you jump? Now you jump? Yeah, I told you, your frog goes far, but they're just not jumping high. It's maybe because they're like, even though I'm tired, I will go where I have to go. You see how far their frog goes? Like, look at that. That was a lot. Wait, let's see. Can I? Oh. Oh no, I think, I think I did something there. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Your frog's foot keeps getting caught. Okay. <laughs> it's not your frog's fault. Okay. It's, it's me. I folded it weird. All right. But that was your reading group one. So like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Uh, do you think you may know who this person is? I have a feeling like some of you guys may actually know who this person is and you probably have already sort of started this dynamic with them. Um, do you feel like, for some of you guys, it is a new person too. And I think for a couple of you, minority, it could be somebody from the past. 
um, that you guys could have broken up and now they're thinking about you want to come back. But I think for the majority of you guys, it's not a past person, not really. It's more of like a current or soon to be kind of a person. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. I Let me put my emergency to the side, but I appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up. <clears throat> I would also appreciate if you guys uh, subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of stuff planned for you and I'm excited to get it all out there and uh, I would appreciate your support. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and also if you guys are interested in one of my PP reading, oh, I'm gonna stop doing that. This is the third video. I'm like doing it as a joke, but I don't actually want it to be a real thing. I don't want to be calling my readings PP readings, but I can't help it. It's just like I said it once, and now I can't. Like it, it's just I can't stop. You know, if you are interested in a private reading, uh, or a personal private reading. <laughs> or in a custom crystal bracelet. Like I said before, you guys can reach out to me either through my email or through the contacts page on my website. All right, group one, I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. Or since we were talking about K-dramas, right? With that little that little heart, right? Ooh, finger heart. <laughs> Bye, group one. Hey, group two, welcome to your reading. This is your group if you chose the froggy with the pink heart. Okay, let's see how far your froggy will jump. As a testimony of their love. <laughs> Not that far. No, okay. Let's try again. Come on, frog. Redeem yourself. Person of group two. How far will you jump for their love? One more. <laughs> okay, it's not your person's fault. All right, you guys. It's the way It's the way that I folded the frog. It's just my second attempt, okay? Please don't blame your person. They would go to great lengths for you. I remember your... Um, I wrote these letters two days ago, or poems or whatever, these little notes two days ago. And y'all, I just, by the way, finished shuffling your stuff. Your person was hilarious, okay? Your person was the most extra person in this whole group, which figures, okay? Let me, I took notes. I wrote down what I was getting. So let me pull up the, the notes when I was writing this letter, okay? The whole time, let me just say, before I even open your letter, before I read it to you, the whole letter, you guys, Almost every single sentence ends with an exclamation mark. They're so extra, okay? Um, if you guys have ever seen Enchanted, like the Disney Enchanted movie, which is like the cartoon that becomes a real like life person, uh, it makes me think of Prince Edward, right? The prince in the thing where he's like such a hopeless romantic and he just wants to sing love ballads and he speaks like this like like literally when he calls out to Giselle like when he he's like Giselle like that is the voice that the whole letter I'm not gonna have that voice when I read it to you but that is literally the voice that this whole thing was written in okay <laughs> this this one dude screaming Giselle so extra but it's it's not that this person is just extra and over overwhelming sometimes you know they are very dramatic okay um but they're also really caring you know they are kind so don't be like oh my goodness just drama it's like no no like if you watch that movie which i would highly recommend if you want to get a little bit of an an insight into the quirkiness of your person's personality um is to see how quirky prince edward is like he's he can sometimes be a little gullible because he's so lovable he's like a puppy dog you know um like the the prince uh so so yes and like you can really see his character when spoiler alert but like this movie's been out for a while so you know it's on you but you can really see uh his character when uh Giselle ends up picking someone else you know and uh he's like it's okay like I love her but I want her to be happy like that's real love you know that's when you really love someone and he's like that kind of a person he's very caring he's very compassionate and and he gives genuine kind compliments you know they're not just you're beautiful but like there is like a um, genuineness to him underneath all the quirkiness. Another thing that I was getting about your person, and when I say him, by the way, I'm referring to the character in, in the movie. Um, obviously, your person can be any gender that you prefer. Um, another thing, when I was writing your letter, I kept seeing the movie When in Rome, the way... <laughs> 
the way that your person has like a little bit of an infatuation with you makes me think of like the way that the guys in the movie uh, whose coins the girl took uh the way that they react to her you know they're like wow madonna you know like that that is literally how your person will react to you because they're so extra uh and i also got the song that's amore and uh, do i love you because you're wonderful right so that's from the cinderella the cinderella music and it's like do i love you because you're wonderful or are you wonderful because I love you. That's not how they're going to sing it, though. <laughs> That's not how it's actually sung, but I'm not going to be singing a whole ballad. Now is the slightly sad. And you know what? This is a this is like Prince Charming, you know? That's what, because Prince Edward was the, the kind of stereotypical prince, I would say, that I was getting. And we're getting Cinderella stuff here. We're getting uh the that's amore stuff like super dramatic you know maybe your person could be italian or mediterranean um but they're so they're so extra like <laughs> but yes yeah, so oh i'm sorry i'm sorry uh but yeah so i think that's the whole thing with the, the frogs i didn't even realize oh my goodness all of the i did frogs because i thought frogs would be easiest which was not necessarily <laughs> Because I didn't want to rip the paper. That's why I actually did frogs. But doing frogs, I didn't realize, you know, like the frog prince, right? Uh, or a princess in your case. You know, it could be a prince or a princess, whichever. Um, how do I unfold this? <laughs> oh, there you go. I was just saying in, in the first group, I was like, I, I don't, I can't believe I keep doing this to myself where... The first time I ever did like the love letter stuff, I used the wax seal. I was like, oh yes, this is so cool. And it was, but I used Tamoya River paper, which is super thin and like so hard to avoid ripping. And then I decided I'll do origami instead. No wax seal this time. But even that, you know, it's like, oh my goodness, Milka, be careful. Okay, let's get into your person's, your person's message, right? So it says, Look, and both, this is written in like a poemy style. It's not really a letter. These are shorter messages and all that. So it says, look at you. You see the exclamation marks after like every sentence? They're so extra. Okay. Look at you. <laughs> look at this beauty before me. I just want to sing. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, they have named you. Uh, great song. You should check it out. <laughs> Oh, you beautiful and enchanting being. And then, <laughs> what was I saying? Giselle. <laughs> and then they do this thing where they like, he bites this part of the finger in the movie when he says her name. So <laughs> they did the same thing. They're like, Giselle, finger bite. Um, the night sky cannot match your beauty and your smile could carry sailors safely on the sea better than any boat ever can. Your eyes just glisten and oh, just listen. Do you hear my heart? How it beats only for you. Enchanting siren-like being of the sea, I shall drown happily for thee. It rhymed and that's important. That's what it says here. <laughs> The stars, the stars can never shine as bright as you. You illuminate my life with every little thing that you do. Oh, mamma mia. <laughs> Sorry. You are the air that I breathe. If I am the wet sand, then please be the footprints that forever leave a mark on me. I'll learn other languages just to impress and so I can tell you, I love you in every possible way. Uh, do not doubt my love, for I will spend an eternity proving it to you. So you are up for, so are you up for the challenge, my love? You're my one and only, your person. I said I wouldn't do the voice, but I did the voice because when I was writing this letter, that was the voice. And I guess I just could not avoid the voice. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, as you can see, you have a very extra person. Um, <laughs> they are hilarious, uh, not intending to be, though. <laughs> this is just who they are. Like, they're just naturally that um, 
charismatic and and all of this stuff so i just i feel <laughs> i feel like you guys you guys um you guys must like you have to get adjusted to it you know you're like okay i like a good disney movie here and there but like your person is a whole nother a whole nother spectrum of that you know so yes that's your person now let's get into the song and your song is the keeper of the stars and with these songs like the last time i did songs it was shuffle on playlist but i just decided in this reading the songs are going to be whatever comes through while i'm writing the letter so you guys got keeper of the keeper of the stars by tracy bird this is a very beautiful song too and i shall read it to you it was no accident me finding you someone had a hand in it long before we ever knew now i just can't believe you're in my life heaven smiling down at me as i look at you tonight i tip my hat to the keeper of the stars he sure knew what he was doing when he joined these two hearts i hold everything when i hold you in my arms i've got all i'll ever need thanks to the keeper of the stars soft moonlight on your face oh how you shine it takes my breath away just to look into your eyes i know i don't deserve a treasure like you there really are no words to show my gratitude. So I tip my hat to the keeper of the stars. He sure knew what he was doing when he joined these two hearts. I hold everything when I hold you in my arms. I've got all I'll ever need thanks to the keeper of the stars. It was no accident me finding you. Someone had a hand in it long before we ever knew. So isn't that sweet, you guys? It's like this person is so like, this person is like a Disney baby, you know? <laughs> like they're so into love and romance and and um, and fate, you know? Like a faded love, destiny. Um, yeah. And let's get into your tarot cards. So we have, oh my goodness, what the heck? Yes, we have the star. You guys, weren't we just talking about that? We were literally just mentioning that. Like, oh, the stars, like the keeper of the stars. Oh my goodness. Sorry, frog, I didn't mean to throw you aggressively. Yeah, and then you have the star and the ace of cups. Dude, your person, romantic as heck. Okay, then we have the 10 of pentacles, the six of wands, the three of pentacles, judgment the two of coins the moon la lune we also had that in your letter right <laughs> um oh no no we didn't it was that's amore but in that song they talk about the moon right when the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie that's amore that's amore okay let me stop <laughs> then we have the king of pentacles mm -mm. The Knight of Cups. Wow. That is like one of the most romantic knights, right? This is literally the Prince Charming Knight. <laughs> and we have the King of Cups. Wow, you guys have a lot of court cards for your person. The Two of Swords. The Page of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. The Six of Wands again. And the Sun. I feel like your guy, your person, you guys, has been taken advantage of in the past before because they're so nice. They're like a puppy dog. Really, they are like a puppy. They're just so sweet. They're so kind. They're very generous. Um, and I feel like in the past, like they're looking for this kind of whirlwind romance, you know? And I feel like they tried to make people fit into that description. Um... And like they in the past had attracted people who are just still too serious, you know, but they were trying, they were like, oh, but that's romantic. That's what's so romantic. You know, this person is serious. I'm extra. We complement each other so well. You know what I mean? But it's like, mm, no, boo, like <laughs> that's not how it works. You, you're not really complimenting each other. You're, uh, you're putting in your best and you're just trying to make this person fit into that story that you have in your head and they just don't fit, you know, you need somebody better. I feel like they, they've been out with people when they deserve, like they deserve better compared to some of the people they've been out with in the past. Um, your person is 
oh my gosh, super romantic. If you guys don't like romance, wrong group, you know? I don't know what you were thinking when you started going out with this person. I think they must have won you over with their charm because they're also extremely charming. But like, yeah, this is the person that like is super romantic. So I'm talking like Disney love story style romantic. They probably would even have a proposal for you guys in Disney World, you know? Like, <laughs> they're gonna be that extra. Like, they'll be like, let's get in front of the castle, let's take a picture. And then <laughs> you guys are taking a picture, you know, you're posing, and then they just get down on their knee. Or um, if you guys are the ones that are propor like proposing, you would know, like, okay, this is what this person wants, you know, like the whole extra shebang. Okay. Um, I also feel like your person can be very emotional. Well, when you're so dramatic, <laughs> how can you not? You know what I mean? Like, they're really good at emoting, too. I feel like they would be, like, they're empaths, so they can cry on people's behalf. Like, they are very sensitive. They're very in touch with their emotions. And even if they are more masculine, I feel like they have a very good balance of feminine energy. They have to in order to be in touch with their emotions like this. That's why I'm saying like, um, you know what? It kind of makes sense that like there was a lot of Italian vibes and like the Mediterranean thing, right? Because like Italians are known, I think at least for example, if we're, if we're talking about men, you know, it's like the Italian men are known for being like a little bit more emotional into the arts and stuff like that. And not just Italian men, but I feel like that's why and I, I think Italians are known for being very passionate, right? That's one of the things they're known for. So maybe that's why that was coming through too. Because it's just like you're getting a lot of passion here. Like there's a lot of emotion going on. Like they're very extra. They will go the extra mile. Like this person will create a sculpture of you. Like you guys would go, like um, if for example you were building a snowman or something, right? They would try to make the snowman look like you. And they'd be like, look, it's us, you know, like, this is just forever the voice that I hear your person as. They're like, they're really family oriented too. Like they can't wait to have their own family. They're very excited to be a family with you. Um, so they, they would want to do marriage. You know, if you guys aren't really interested in marriage and you're like, oh, I don't like society structures. And it's like, that's okay. That's you. Your person is going to really want to marry you so you guys will have to work out some kind of a compromise uh if you are not interested in marriage though i think a lot of you guys that were not interested in marriage would change your mind for this person um because like they're gonna just this is the kind of person that gets straight to your heart like they melt your heart you know they go straight to your heart like if you have layers of protection around you this person is like a master of of like a locksmith you know, like they're just a master of getting into things. So they will just get into your heart like easy peasy. You know, the, they just appear there one day overnight. You're like, when did you sneak in here? And it's like, well, I've been here all along, baby. <laughs> um, I feel like they're the kind of person that is so friendly and so charismatic and fun and charming that like their friends are always laughing around them. And they wear their heart on their sleeve. If they're gonna flirt with you, they're gonna flirt with you. Like, they're gonna be obvious, you know what I mean? Even if they're being, like, shy or whatever, they're obvious, <laughs> like, like, you will know that they like you. And I think you guys are gonna find that refreshing too. Like, in that, on that sense, it's like no, no BS, you know what I mean? Because they make it very, very obvious that they like you. Like, you're not gonna be able to be like, do they like me? Like, no, no, you're like, yeah, they like me. I know they like me. <laughs> Um, I feel like a lot of people cut this person short in regards to how deep they are. This person is very emotionally intelligent and deep because they do have the King of Cups and this Moon card is making me think of how like emotionally intelligent they are. And though they have this beautiful external persona that is like a puppy that is very excitable and all of this stuff, inside they really are mature and they have a very deep understanding of how people work. They just choose to continue to have a joyful, playful way of exuding themselves and living their life that way because they don't see the point of being serious and so monotone 
when you can live life both like happy you know it's like a choice and they make this choice on a daily basis so it's not that they don't have a serious understanding of the world it's not that they're going to try to make you not feel your emotions if they try to support you or uplift you it's just because they want to they want to see you happy it's not that they don't get you emotionally um and i also feel like this person really is stable you know like because they're so like passionate you would assume that maybe they would be fickle in love but they're really the commitment type like i said they're looking for marriage <laughs> like they want marriage they want it this is something that they fantasize about regardless of their gender right they this is what they want they are just waiting they're looking for love right now you know they're like i am ready for love love come find me let me find you they want to go on this chase you know and they really are like a knight in shining armor type person they're a hopeless romantic and i feel like they're going to woo you they're going to woo you this person will woo you like like i said they're gonna sneak their way into your heart like you're not even gonna see it coming it's just like one moment you're like oh what a cute sweet person the next moment you're like oh my gosh i'm in love with this cute sweet person um i feel like they have people in their lives like, I feel like their parents are not as happy-go-lucky as them. And I feel like they have people in their lives that are a little bit more serious, which a lot of serious people are drawn to your person. Because your person acts like a light in the dark, you know? They act like this fresh air, like this fresh breeze in such tense situations. And so because of that, like, they lighten these people's mood, you know? Like, they make them feel like... Like they lighten them up, you know, being so serious all the time, it just takes away. And like, so your person has a lot of friends that are very serious, you know, and sometimes your person can be the butt of the joke, but it's a silly thing, you know what I mean? And they're okay with having the attention of them because I think they do like a little bit of recognition. They, they like to be pat on the head, you know what I mean? Like I'm telling you, they've got very much puppy vibes. But again, they're a very stable person they're not going to be relying on you for money or anything like that just because they've got this happy-go-lucky energy and personality doesn't mean that they don't have their own like financial stability uh they do you know what i mean like you're not going to have to be taking care of this person as if you are now the person in charge of the relationship like they are very caring they're very compassionate they're very considerate and they're going to take very good care of you and you will take good care of them you know so it's it's like it's equal you don't have to worry that this person is gonna now be like your child you know what i mean just because they're so passionate and they will get passionate on behalf of you you know this person is intelligent like they are grown you know what i mean they really aren't a child um they're just really playful and romantic and passionate um and they will take care of you very very well i feel like you guys are gonna have such a good time together they really are like a source of light for a lot of people they're very chatty um and i think they love having intellectual debates with you guys they like picking your brain you know and you guys are gonna get a little i feel like sometimes you guys are like i'm tired of explaining why i like this you know i just like it and they'll be like i'm sorry i, I didn't mean i didn't mean to like get you upset it's just i love like again remember what i was saying this whole like it's i don't want to say they're obsessed with you but it's kind of like wow you know so they're just gonna want to know everything about you and they're gonna be like and why did you do that and why did you make that kind of a decision not while you're making those decisions but like about your life and you're like okay enough already like let's just take a break let's watch a movie and they'll be like oh i'm so sorry i didn't i just want to know everything about you you know like they're just so fantas like um enchanted by you oh like the movie right they're enchanted by you all right let's get into the next portion of the reading the next set of cards where does this go it go here and these will go here do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. okay next up we have um dilettante with light attributes delights in the arts without having to be a professional alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits shadow attribute pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess 
And then we have Angel, Light Attribute, helping those in need with no expectation of return. Shadow Attribute, acting innocent or angelic to mislead others, falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. Ooh. Your person is not the shadow attributes of this, by the way. It's just, um, I guess I never read the shadow attribute of that. That's kind of intense. Then we have Armadillo. Starfish. Turtle. Deer. You guys got a lot of animal cards. Um, chameleon. You have Whale. A whale of a time. Uh, tiger and a raccoon and then you have here and now I feel like your person's gonna definitely help you guys be in the here and now demonstrate love I mean that is literally your person in a nutshell right that happened with the last group too like this this deck the whispers of love like it was like a perfect description of their person too. <laughs> then we have be in the present and dream of the future. And demonstrate love says find out what is important to those you love and act on it. And then the second one says when we dream everything is possible. I love this. Look at how beautiful. I don't know if you can see with this lighting the stars in the background. And then we have Aquarius. Full moon. Oh, so much moon, right? When the moon hits your... So much moon and stars stuff. And oh, the golden healer. I'll read it at the end. Okay. So, again, with Angel, your person is so romantic. Your person is so romantic. They're so sweet. Like, they're just so sweet. They will do anything for almost anyone. Like, they're so kind. Um, and like I said before, they've been taken advantage of before. I think they've been in relationships with people who are a little less than deserving of your person. Um, they are very artistic. They are very artsy and creative. Like I said, it's like they would build a sculpture of you. You know what I mean? If they could. They're very ingenuitive, I would say as well. Um, I also feel like... You may feel like you like the oh, oh the starfish right another star wow you guys like this person feels like destiny i feel like even you will if you were the type of person who was like i don't know about destiny like you've got to make things happen this person would convert you this person has such a strong faith that like in destiny and the universe and miracles and blessings that like Literally, they could, con like, just witnessing them in action, like, anyone would start feeling that same way. Like, they would impact people. And like I was saying before, too, like, your person is very innocent. And I feel like they're very nurturing. They're very kind. Um, they're very playful. Like, I feel like they would like to, <laughs> in the bedroom, do role play, too. Like, they're just really, they like games. Not games in regards to relationships, but they like, they, they do like to, um, woo though they like traditional romantic courtship but when it comes to like games it's more like oh no <laughs> like they like the floor is lava you know like they like those kinds of games um i also feel like maybe at first you may feel like it is a little hard like you may feel like your person is a little superficial like it's hard to get to know who they are behind this persona because they genuinely wear their hearts on their sleeves and i think you guys may be having a little hard time trusting that this person is for real, you know, I think because you've never really encountered somebody like that before who's genuinely, truly so open that you guys are like, I, is this person for real like this? And it's like, mm, yeah, they are. You just have to hang around them a little longer and you'll see this is who they really are. Um, they have deeper moments, though. They do have deeper moments. It's just when you it's like at night they will become deeper, you know, like if you spend time with them when it's quiet, they will become even deeper. Um, and like I said, they really are intelligent and they get misjudged and mischaracterized a lot because of how bubbly and cheerful they are, you know, that people don't take them as seriously. But they do have this deep side to them. They have been hurt before, you know, they just don't, when they don't dwell on it, they try to move past it quickly, um, which may not always be the best thing for them. Because, you know, you want to make sure that you're not repressing feelings. I mean, they're very expressive, though. But, yeah, I, I, sometimes I feel like they need to give themselves a break. 
um, and just kind of not be putting on a sh like this is who they are you know it's not that they're really being fake or anything but being this can be very exhausting sometimes too and I think sometimes they need a little reminder of just like hey like it's okay to just chill you know you don't have to go outside today if you feel like this is who you like you need a break from from being this um and like I said they're, they're this person would be great with kids um and they adapt to whatever situation that they're in. You know what I mean? When they're at work, yes, they have a certain sense of professionalism while also being cheery and optimistic and all of this stuff. And so they adjust to to wherever they are. They adjust that they tone down if they have to. <laughs> but usually they're pretty they're pretty extra. But again, they're really stable. They're really sturdy and they're really looking for a family. Um they just want to give their love to someone. They just want to pour love into people. And then these three cards, uh, it's more so, how do they feel about you? So I feel like they think of you, like with this whale, right? I mean, this is one of the largest animals on this planet, right? Like such a magnetic presence and energy and whales are known for their songs. Like this person is going to, be completely blown away by you. I mean, we already talked about that a little bit, right? We talked about how they're just going to kind of fall head over, over heels and like just watch you. <laughs> um, but I feel like your person is going to think of you as somebody who's very defensive. Not necessarily just about yourself, but they love the fact that you're not super easy to just crack into, you know? They love the fact that it is a little bit of like a... like you reserve yourself for the for the people in your life you know what i mean like you you're a little bit of the opposite of them like they're super expressive and they love that you are a little more a little more reserved than them i think they also like they like that you guys stay up late <laughs> i don't know why but i feel like they like that you guys stay up late they love like the late night conversations that you guys have because i think that that's not something that they got to have before in those kinds of relationships, you know, like people in their previous relationships, romantic wise, like put them under a blanket term of like this cutesy, whatever. Remember I was saying a lot of people misjudge them, but they actually are extremely emotionally intelligent and they are very deep. They just don't get to have the chance to be that way with people, you know? So I feel like they're gonna love having like, like pillow talk with you guys, like late night talks. And I think you guys are going to see just how deep this person is through this kind of conversation too. You challenge them to to tone down, not in a way that represses them, but in a way that helps express the other side of them that doesn't get to see the light as often in public. I also feel as though uh, they find you guys very sexy. <laughs> they find you very alluring, very enchanting. They think you guys are extremely intuitive and they love that about you too. They feel like you have a really good judge of character and they love that. And I think this is also the thing where you guys see them and you're going to be able to see through like this, this, just this, per like you are going to be one of the few people that sees the depth that they can go deep, you know, and they love that about you. They feel seen and that for them is very big to be seen and heard. Like it's big for everyone, but I feel like it means a lot more to them because they get misjudged so frequently. Um, and I feel like they're going to think of you as very nurturing too. They feel like you're going to protect them. Like they want to do the same for you, you know? Like it feels like both of you guys are going to be protecting each other. And I feel like you're going to be pointing out to them a lot. Like this person is taking advantage of you. Stop. And they love that. They love the sensation that like you're looking out for them. Uh, I feel like this person is going to help you be more in the present because I think you guys plan a lot. <laughs> so this person is sometimes going to be like, babe, I love you. Stop planning. Stop planning. Let's just go have fun. You know, they're going to help bring spontaneity into your life, which I feel like some of you guys could be spontaneous sometimes, but you guys are a little bit more practical. So you're going to help them. I mean, again, it's not that they're not practical. I just feel like sometimes they need a little bit of a reminder. And sometimes you guys need the reminder to be like, okay, let's just do it for fun. You know, I feel like you guys are going to experience a lot of firsts together. Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of very big demonstrations of love between the two of you guys too. And 
oh see be in the present and dream of the future here now like there's a lot of being in the moment you know so i feel like you guys this person is going to be in the moment with you guys but part of your pillow talk that's going to be fun for the both of you is like planning your futures together like this person makes you hopeful for the future you know what i mean like maybe you're like i I don't know if I can think that far in advance in regards to this relationship stuff has ended before, you know what I mean, blah, blah, blah. But this person makes you hopeful for the future. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be very fun and unique and so much romance is going to occur in your life. And let's get also into your message here with the golden healer. You have abundance, expansion, golden rays. Universal life force flows strongly with the golden healer. With an exceedingly high vibration, golden healer carries bios, bioscalar waves, an abundant form of power that increases in spatial mass. This potent energy can expand awareness across multiple dimensions, transforming your vibration all the way down to the cells in your body. Connected to the solar plexus, this stone allows the highest form of healing for your identity and self-worth, releasing ancestral trauma that may have affected you and been passed down through your family lineage. Leo Sun. Yeah, I feel like this could be a healing connection for the both of you guys. You guys are going to help this person feel completely accepted on a more intimate level. And they're going to help you guys feel very unconditionally loved and cherished. Um, I'm also going to shuffle one of my cards that I made for you guys. Well, that I made as well for you guys too. Because I haven't used these in a while, I would say. Um, okay, can you, can you guys chill for a second? Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel like this is going to, oh, the moon popped out there. I feel like this is going to be a very deep love for you guys. You know, it's going to be very deep. One card, guys, please and thank you. Oh my goodness. What the heck? We have signs, right? Make a man out of you. That's also actually, that's from my big fat Greek wedding, but um like the song that she sang in my big fat greek wedding but it's also mulan right another disney thing and this is warning with a question mark i feel like you guys are going to be like looking for red flags of this person and they're like take a chance on me you know and you're going to change your opinion of them real quick um you're going to surrender to it like it's going to be confusing because you're going to be like i don't know this person is so energetic like are they being fake and it's like no this is just who they are you know this is part of their personality and the final message with the dice we have taurus jupiter the ninth house oh and the number nine ooh, ooh, ooh. with the nine coming through twice and jupiter that's a lot of sagittarius energy ninth house energy is all about expansion right so I feel like you guys are really going to grow together. Like you guys coming together is going to help you guys grow in business too. I feel like it's going to help you guys in business. It's going to help you grow in business. And I feel like they're going to help you express yourself on a new level. Oh, sorry guys. I had to, oh, I had to do the crack, the cracky cracks. Um, also, you know, there was a lot of, I feel like they have a very resonant voice something about the tone of their voice just i feel like you guys can hear them from a mile away like you guys like their voice the way that it reacts with your ears there's something about it you know like i feel like you guys are gonna you would be able to pick out their voice in a crowd easily um but yeah i, I just feel like this is a really new beginning for the both of you guys uh in regards to love and I think you guys are going to build something very stable with each other. And this Taurus card is making me think of the Hierophant. So I really feel like you guys could end up, you guys could really get married with this person. Okay. All right, group two, that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know it was <laughs> a little all over the place. You guys have a very extra person. I mean, their voice was very prominent in the beginning, right? So I feel like their voice is still going to be prominent here. 
but yeah this was your oh and i just want to point out the bottom of these decks you have new life and physical touch like i really feel like that is so relevant for you guys too and be supportive like this person is going to be so supportive of you guys but yeah i'm gonna stop that's that's the end of your reading okay but yeah group two that was your reading i really hope you guys enjoyed i would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below have you met this person uh what do you guys think of this person okay uh if you haven't met them yet what are your impressions is this kind of scary it feels like a lot right it feels like a little too much or is this exactly what you were hoping for um i'd also appreciate if you guys gave this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy as well as subscribing to the channel if you would like to keep up to date when i post new videos um i do offer personal private readings as well as custom crystal bracelets so if you guys are interested in that all the ways to contact me would be in the description box below either through my contacts page on my website or through my email all right you guys that was your reading i'm sending you guys so much love and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day bye group two hi group three this is your group if you chose this grayish blue heart and let's see your your partner in action shall we wait hold on hold on i got this i got this yeah woohoo look at that whoa that was a big one that was a big jump wow look you, you guys have the best jumping frog this was the last one that i folded and um it was supposed to be group four but i accidentally made it group three so here we go i could just do this for an hour well why did you stop working there you go whoop whoop oh i think they say you can make these have backflips let's see wait 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 no hold on <laughs> a good one and another one and another one and another <laughs> where are you going bro okay oh, okay let me uh get serious all right you guys let's just get right into your reading we're gonna start out with your little love note um final final give us a final little run through little friend yeah that was good whoa that was a better one that was just jumping Woohoo! okay okay for real I shouldn't have made it something so entertaining. I think maybe if I would have made like a harder star or something, <laughs> it would have been better. Can I get it to jump onto the cards here? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, you know what? Maybe that was too high of a goal. Wait, okay, maybe, hold on, hold on, hold on. Last attempt. You got this. I got you. I believe in you, little buddy. Oh, so close. Hold on, hold on. Come on. Okay, you know what? I think we put too much pressure on him. All right, <laughs> let's just get right into, into your little, I don't know if you can call it a poem. It's not really a letter. It's just like a note slash poem. Some of them have been in a poem style uh, and song. And I also just finished shuffling your cards to you guys. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Your little froggy friend. Um, hmm. And this is something I said in the other groups, you know, last time I did something with like a love letter style thing, I didn't make it easy for myself because I did, um, I used this really thin paper called Tomoe River paper. It's this fancy schmancy Japanese paper, but like it's thin, right? So because it's thin, and I used the wax seals on it, I couldn't remove the wax without ripping or breaking the paper a little bit. And uh, I thought, no wax this time, I'll just fold it. But that was like a whole nother thing, you know, like unfolding it, it was whatever. Okay. <coughs> Sorry guys, I swallowed saliva again. I don't know what's been going on with me. I'm okay. <coughs> <coughs> it went down the wrong hole, but I'm alive. Okay, so your letter says, my most radiant and beautiful light. Hello, darling. Yours, so yours actually came out more in a letter format, I think, than any of the other groups. The other groups followed more of a poem style. But yes, uh, I'll start that over. My most radiant and beautiful light. Hello, darling. 
I know the others may have come through with words of grandeur and promising miracles. They probably came through with fancy lyrics and beautiful song choices. And though I can do all of that, I wanted to level with you. I wanted to be as genuine and authentic as possible. We won't have a simple love and we're bound to have our ups and downs, but I wanted to make a vow to you before this letter is up. I vow to always protect you and forever keep you safe. I vow to swear and devote my love to you every night, morning, and day. I will always be beside you, love. You have a place to rest your head. That is what my shoulders are for, to carry loads for you instead. I can speak here very pretty, but there's more important things to say. I'm a very busy person, but I'll schedule you in for every hour anyway. And though I can't kneel down and tell you all these things I want to say, please go on until I come through knowing you are the light that will forever warm my days. I've always only ever been yours, your person. <clears throat> and then on the bottom it says, I love you, my ambrosia, my sunshine in the rain. So you guys had, I remember when I was writing this letter, your person <clears throat> was very like no bullshit, um, you know, like it's, and again, they even said it themselves, you know, like they can be romantic. Um, and it's, and yeah, they can be romantic. But for them, it's like, they don't want to be doing any of that. Like, like I don't know, they just wanted to get their point across. They're like, yeah, I know how to be romantic. I could say all this stuff, but I wanted to get across the most important thing, which is, I love you and you mean a lot to me and all this stuff, you know? And when I was writing your your little love letter thing, something I smelled like the woods at night, you know, as if you were camping at night and it's a little chilly and the smell of like a bonfire. Um, and then your song is Golden by Lady A. This is also a really beautiful song. Um, and I'll read it to you. So there's a town name in here. I should have probably looked up how to pronounce it, but I will probably butcher it. I don't even know where it is, but let's just, just bear with me, okay? The sunset falls in Wichita? Wich Wichita? 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 That's the thing I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> Yellow dances through the blue. What feel, uh, wheat fields catch a glimpse of heaven makes me think of you. And even when you're miles away, you're always on my mind. Lord knows you're in my heart even when I close my eyes. You are golden, precious as a prayer flying up through the air while the rain is falling. Golden, timeless as a kiss. Baby, I don't want to miss another perfect moment to tell you how you make me feel. The day you strolled in, my heart was stolen because you're golden. The smallest parts of who you are are everything to me. From the way you laugh to the way you cry to the way you love on me. Shadows run and darkness fades when you come around my single star amongst the gray, always shining down. Lovely, oh, so hard to find. Yeah, your goodness, forgiveness of the purest kind. From the day you strolled in, my heart was stolen. You'll be the hand I'm holding when the heavens open, because you are golden. I got chills towards the end there. It's so sweet. Um, yeah, I think your person is like, it's almost like they're no frills, you know, they're so serious. They're done with games. They just want the real thing. So let's get into your tarot cards now. <clears throat> you guys have the Nine of Swords. The Ace of Wands, the Eight of Cups, Five of Swords, Page of, oh, sorry, Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, Pentacles, the Five of Cups, 
the five of coins. Wow, a lot of hardship cards. Justice. The Ace of coins. The lovers. The empress. Strength. Two of Swords and the High Priestess. So give me one moment, guys, um, to see what I see. Let's see what is coming through about your person or from your person. Yeah, I think your person definitely is coming through as a no frills type of person. I think I think they're just done with fake relationships and things that don't last and superficial stuff. It seems like they're really really done with that because you've got two people who are burying their hand their heads in their hands, you know. And look, there's actually a hand pulling her hair from the water. I feel like even even in the song that you guys that your person channeled through, right? Where is it? What was the lyric? It's like Hold on, let me see. From the day you strolled in, my heart was stolen. It'll be the hand I'm holding when the heavens open because you're golden. I'd recommend listening to this song actually because it's a really beautiful song. But I feel like when you walk into this person's life or appear in this person's life, you're going to be like a very vibrant light for them. <clears throat> Again, they feel like somebody who's, they can be romantic, they can do all of this stuff, but I feel like they're not going to be overtly like completely crazy kind of whirlwind romancing you all of the time because it feels like they're a busy person but it's not that they won't do that they will but i think that when they do do it it's going to be a lot more meaningful because they're not just doing it every single day and then you kind of lose uh you lose the effectiveness of it um hey guys i'm sorry for the cut um something happened so i had to take a little pause but now you guys have the siren. So many interruptions during your your reading. Interesting. But yeah, I, I feel like you're gonna go into you're gonna like this person is gonna see you as a light in their life. I think that when you guys meet, um they could be going through a bit of a rough patch, to be honest with you. I just, I feel like they're ready to leave behind a lot of things that no longer serve them. So leaving behind friendships, past relationships, even like work partners or anything like that, like they are just done with being fake, being, I feel like they were part, they had a career where there's a lot of keeping up appearances and um, they're like so done with that. They don't want to be doing that anymore they're t they just want to be authentic i think they felt a little bit trapped in their life based off of their their uh personal relations in the past even with their parents i feel like they only show a certain side of themselves to people in the past and um and they're just done with that i think they're currently going through a very vulnerable moment where they're being very emotional and I think opening up to themselves just how much they were hurt by by having to to hide a part of their personality and a part of their wants and needs right um, I feel like when the moment you enter their lives they're going to feel 
like again like you are the light of their of their life you know i feel like you're just gonna walk in i mean they even have like in their song right? oh even the name right the the title of the letter from them is like talking about how you're this majestic radiant light and i wrote the letters slash notes before i wrote the songs so or wrote down the songs you know um so I think that's interesting. I feel like, again, like even with this high priestess here, they're going through this like recluse period or moment in their life where they're really dropping things that no longer serve them. They just want to be aligned with who they truly are and what they truly want. Like they're just so done with fake stuff. And I feel like, again, it's coming through that they've had to deal with so much of the fake stuff. Again, it's also coming through as part of their job, keeping up. Uh, everything just feels like it was all about keeping up appearances, you know? They were taught to do that from a young age, and then they experienced that in their work life, and they're just so done. Like, I keep getting the sensation of, I'm done. Like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. It's ex and, But you know what? It's really exhausting to keep up appearances. It's really exhausting to have to keep up a lie that's not authentic you know it, it's it it eats away at you and i feel like they got to the point where it was like their breaking point because your person is very strong they're very strong so the fact that they got to a breaking point i feel like if you would have seen them get to this breaking point it would have probably made you cry to watch something like that um i feel like they also i do feel like they like to travel they like to explore. I also feel like they've done a lot of solo trips. Um, it feels like they've done a lot of solo trips. And um, what else is coming through? I also kind of feel like they do investment related things. So I don't know if they like invest in the stock market or the equivalents of the stock market from where you guys are, like which country you're from. Um, or if they, um, yeah, I just, I see like they have investments, you know, like maybe they've invested in real estate. They've been pretty smart about their money. Again, everything about their life was about keeping up with appearances, being proper, you know, and so now they're just like, they're done with it. But they're, that being said, like, I do still feel like they have these investments and these like bonds or something, um, which will be quite kind of surprising because when it comes time for you guys to get a home together, I feel like you're going to be like, oh, I don't know if we can take out a loan or what. And this person's like, I got money. Don't worry about it. It kind of makes me think of that episode of Friends where Chandler and Monica were getting married and something happened like with the wedding deposit or whatever, or the wedding was too expensive or something. And... um they were upset because they couldn't afford it or something like that. And then Chandler was like, well, I could pay for that, you know? Um, and she's like, no, it would be way too expensive. And he's like, I got a little money saved up. And she's like, how much money? And she wrote it down and she's like, oh my gosh, we're rich. Like we can have my dream wedding and pay for it ourselves, you know? Um, Cause he's been like saving from each paycheck. You know what I mean? Like he was really good with money. So I feel like your person kind of did a little bit of like that. Like they're also, they were pretty good with their money, pretty wise with it. So it's, they've got a pretty penny. You know what I mean? Um, I also feel like your person is the type of person that likes and enjoys the finer things in life. Like they, they, I'm not saying they're super luxurious, but they would not stay in a hostel if they're traveling, right? They would have either a hotel room or an Airbnb. Like, I don't even see them staying in motels. Like, they have a bit more of an exquisite taste. And I think they have a bit, like, they value their their physical body a lot. So I think... Um, they would make sure that they're using like higher end products, shampoos, conditioners, body washes. They would get high quality food, eat at like fancier places. Like you would not see this person in a McDonald's like at all. <laughs> um, or like a Wendy's or whatever. I also, again, I feel like they're really strong. 
they're really strong and I feel as though underneath all of that strength is a sensitive child but from a young age they've had to just again it's like keeping up appearances you know what I mean like their parents emphasized appearances maybe they also come from a bit of a wealthy family or like their culture has a lot to do with there's like a lot of phoniness in their culture where you're always trying to one up relatives or something like that like they had to keep up these appearances and so your person can be very strong but they really 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 need somebody to to be authentic with that they can kind of put down the facade with that they can feel very vulnerable with um I also feel like your person is very, very, very fair and they're anti-injustice. Like if they witness somebody being mistreated or forced to be doing something like that grinds their gears more than anything else. And I think it's because they've personally experienced that. So they know how difficult it is and they have overcome it. It made them stronger. You know, they don't regret the stuff that they've experienced in their life. They're grateful for it. But them witness, if they can help other people avoid that, situation because they've been through it they're like i i have been through it i don't want anyone else to experience that um they're very very passionate when it comes to that i feel like they're very passionate about justice um and they're passionate in general i do think they have a higher sex drive i do feel like they work out um i feel like they need to like they have a lot of masculine energy Regardless of the gender, I just feel like they have a lot of masculine energy. There's a lot of drive there and they need an outlet. Um, I do also think that they're currently working on a bit of a side project. And when you guys meet, they are going to be already kind of like working it out or in the midst of it. And this project is like a passion project. So I think this is one of the most authentic things that they've done in their life so far. And they're just kind of like going with it. They're like, I've got enough money saved up, whatever. I'm just going to go for it uh, because I can't keep doing what I did before. It's not making me happy. So I, I feel like that's what I was saying before, you know, like they're leaving behind a lot of stuff. And I feel like because they're leaving behind all of those inauthentic things and all the superficial stuff and all of this like facade, fake things, which they never even really wanted in the first place. It's like they were living like an empty person, like an empty shell a little bit. Like they were just playing a role in their life, you know, as opposed to being the lead of their life. And again, part of that is how they were raised. Um, but now they're done with that and they're working through that. And that is the thing that's going to be leading them to you because they're going to be their most authentic version of themselves. And you guys are already really close to being the most authentic version of yourselves. You guys have been on that journey a little bit longer than them. Um, and I think that's what's going to help lead you guys to each other. Let's get into your other cards. I also feel like they're really good communicators. Like they're, again, like the whole no frills, no BS kind of thing. It's very much strong with them. They're also very opinionated. So uh, you're not going to question what their thoughts are on a topic because they're 100% going to let you know. <laughs> they're like that kind of a person. They're very vocal. And especially now that they've rediscovered like, I'm not going to be living this fake life, this closet life anymore. Um, after that, they've become like a lot more vocal. Then we have Rescuer. Provides strength and supports others in crisis. Acts out of love with no expectation of reward. And then the shadow attributes are assumes that the rescued will reciprocate. Keeps the rescued one needy. Interesting. Uh, whenever I read these, I never mean the shadow attributes. So whenever I, re I see the shadow attributes, because I don't usually pay attention to them, I'm always like, oh, I'm curious. Like, some of these are intense. Then we have Chameleon. Tiger. Dog. Elk. Oyster. Cosmic Egg. Time to go. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. 
Then we have the end of fall, the new moon, Mercury, which will be going in, oh, actually, I think it's already going to be Mercury is in retrograde at the time of this video going up. Then we have Jupiter, and we have Ethiopian Opal, which I will read after. And I also have this song um, from Snow White. The, it's like, someday my prince will come. Someday we'll meet again. But the way that she sings it, you know, she has the whole thing. Someday. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that whole extra vibrato. <laughs> Uh, but that song is like stuck in my head now during your reading. Um, let us see what else we have. I, with the rescuer thing, remember I was saying how your person is like super anti-injustice. Like they, it grinds their gears. They cannot stand to watch it. Um, I feel like that. It, this is actually kind of similar a little bit. Um, a little bit to pile one, I think with um kind of the similar thing in regards to wanting to help people in need but i feel like your person is a lot more experiencing um exploring their authenticity than group one it's group one is they're both a little different but they have they have some parallels um yes so i feel like that is what the rescuer card is talking about really it's talking about like your person wanting to help people, not being able to stand in justice. Like if they can, they'll be there. I feel like these people also support the underdog, you know? <sighs> like if they, and cause remember I was saying like they do like investments, they have some kind of investments and stuff. So maybe they even invest in small businesses too. Like when they first start out or like corporations and whatnot. And they're really good at seeing like, oh, this is gonna be a good idea. I really support like these people. So I'm gonna invest into them. And they usually, whatever they invest in tends to have a really good return. Um, <clears throat> I also feel, sometimes I feel like somebody's watching me. You know, I feel like that's another reason why they were so fake, right? It's because a lot of people were watching them. So maybe they had a, a kind of a career that was really in the public eye. The public eye, matey. <laughs> Get it? That was a pirate hook. Um, anyway, <laughs> with Chameleon, again, this is making me think of the facade that they were putting on for some time. So like, if you ever needed them to act a certain way, like, they'll do it. This is, that's something they grew up having to do. They just had to do it. Like, whether it was because of their parents having some kind of public eye thing or whatnot, they grew up having to do this and um yeah so it's something that they're good at that being said they're not going to be fake when they meet you or anything along those lines you don't have to worry about them being fake and it's not that they were being fake it's just that they would make their personality go on snooze and only highlight one aspect of it that people wanted to see you know or expected to see of them um, with tiger and dog, I feel like this person is extremely loyal. Um, and like, they're super protective of the people that they care about. They are very much a ride or die kind of person. Again, I'm getting the whole, like, no, like it's very strongly coming through. No bullshit. They're not into games. They don't even want to do this like courtship game where, you know, some people will be like, no, I don't like this. Like, they're not interested in that. They're like, do you like me? Yes. Okay, let's move forward. I'm looking for something serious. How about you? You know what I mean? They're really done with the whole like pretense and expectations and, 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 um, yeah, they're, they just want it laid out for them. Again, I'm getting the whole like, no bullshit. Um, this tiger is also making me think again that they do have a very high sex drive. So 
like they have these like I don't want to say aggressive tendencies because I'm not trying to say that you're going to be in a relationship with someone abusive you know not at all and I'm going to knock on wood for that too but obviously you wouldn't be with them if they were that way what I mean by aggressive tendencies I, again I just feel like they're very passionate about injustice so like if they see somebody being hurt or somebody um being scolded in public or you know things like that trigger them really really trigger them and it, like when i was saying it'll grind their gears like i mean it like i just see them getting irritated like frustrated about it that's why they need to work out this is the way that they let out their steam working out and and sex <laughs> Um, they would never yell at you or anything like that. So this aggression would never be towards you and it's not even towards like friends or anything like, along those lines. It's more so uh, they have this like tiger within them come up whenever they see this kind of an injustice. You see, even with Rescuer, like it's just so prominent. Just like the no bullshit thing is really prominent for them. So is this like, I'm, I must make sure that like, like the justice thing, you know, like not tolerating injustice. Um, whoo, I feel like they're gonna like chocolate. I don't know. I just got, I just tasted this delicious mint white chocolate that I get from Italy. Um, for those of you who don't know, Italy is a grocery store in New York. I actually, I wonder if they have Italy in other states, but I know that there's definitely one in New York and it has a lot of imported italian like goods like cheeses and olive oils and tomato sauces and pastas and like chocolate stuff too and there's this one chocolate oh it's so delicious it's like this white chocolate with mint in it and i just tasted that and felt sensations um so i really do feel <laughs> The sex is gonna be great good for you <laughs> i feel like there's a lot of emphasis on oh and we just heard the beeping i don't know if you guys can hear it on camera but like the washing machine just started going off like beep beep so i feel like that's a sign too uh and i'm not gonna lie to you whenever i see this oyster card it also makes me think of of those kinds of things sometimes so Yes, <laughs> be ready for them to attack at night. If you, <laughs> you know what I mean. It would never be unwanted though. Like they're they're not into anything where, um, like they they seem to like like the hunt, in 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 bed. But they would never, uh, like I said, impose themselves on anybody. They wouldn't want to be with anyone who doesn't want them. Like they're done with all of that. So anywho. I do feel like your person is also actually extremely attractive. So that's another thing that's coming through. <sighs> All right. Now, this is how they feel about you. So we have elk, oyster, and cosmic egg. With this cosmic egg, I just feel like this person really wants to treasure you and protect you. Remember in your little note, that's something they said, like, I vow to keep you safe, right? They gave you a vow. Like, that's how committed they are. They're like, I'm not going to... BS you, but these are the things that I promise that I will do in order to show my love for you. And they're not kidding, you know. I feel like they genuinely will protect you in every sense of the manner, you know. In the outside world, they're kind of possessive in the bedroom. <laughs> like, the bedroom keeps coming up. I'm sorry, but look, even the snake's tongue is out, and I never notice that. Normally, whenever I see this, I think of the protection. I never notice the tongue, but they're like, this is my baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I also feel like they think of you as somebody who's so uh, secure. They feel like you guys are somebody who's so secure. They feel safe around you. Um, and I think because they feel safe around you, for them, that's very rare. So that's another reason why they're like, I have to hold on to this person. I need to make sure this person is safe. I think they see the way that you have been a pillar of strength for others for a very long time in your life too. I think they find similarities or parallels. Uh, they assume there are parallels between the two of you guys with having to be the stronger person you know and it almost feels like you have to kind of suppress your emotions in order to help others um again it's like putting on a front essentially you know 
you're not genuinely happy, but you pretend like you are because somebody else is crying and you can't just break down and cry with them. That's how the, the sensation, you know what I mean? And I feel like they, they see that within you too. They're like, oh, this person is going to be strong for people when they need it and they're going to repress or suppress their own wants and needs in order to help or benefit uh, others, you know? And they're like, this is, this is a rare person, but this, I'm also like this, you know? So because they're like, they see these parallels, they want to take care of you even more, you know, the way that they wish they would have been loved, the way that they wish they would have been nurtured because you would do that for them and you will do that for them and they want to reciprocate that to you. Like I said, they see you as like this light. I think on some level, because you guys have a lot of reflection stuff um, or like certain parallels, I feel like on some level, the light that they, because they are very vibrant, you know, they just don't, they're just coming into terms with it now. So the light that they see in you is also the light that they have within themselves, but um, they just haven't gotten to the point where they see it within themselves yet. I also feel as though they like it when you whisper. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming through, but they like it when you whisper, apparently. Um, and again, with time to go, I just feel like this is talking about, and consider your foundation, right? This is literally talking about the journey that they're currently on and the end of fall. <sighs> like all the leaves are, are gone by the end of fall, you know? The trees have now become bare. Like they've really taken a big chunk of their past life out of their current situation or the, their, you know, life before now. And with the new moon too, right? It's all about this new beginning, this new venture. And Mercury and Jupiter, they actually collaborate or cooperate, right? Because if you take it, break it down to the signs, that's like Gemini and Sagittarius, right? Or Virgo and Pisces, right? So regardless of which sign you choose, these planets kind of are opposite to each other, but they work together. Um, astrologically speaking, right? Because Gemini and, and Sagittarius are opposite signs. Virgo, which is also ruled by Mercury, and Pisces, which used to be ruled completely by Jupiter until people discovered Neptune, also opposite signs. Um, and funnily enough, all of those signs... It's one of each of the element, right? And they're all the mutable signs of their element. I never noticed that, but that's funny. They're all the mutable signs of the element. But yeah, I feel like you guys are gonna be, you guys are really venturing on a new beginning with each other um, because they're gonna be more authentic and you guys are gonna have the first real love of your lives, I feel like. This is gonna be the first most genuine relationship that you've ever had after you started your self-work, your self-help work, right? After you started improving your lives and all this stuff and becoming more conscious, this is gonna be the first um, relationship dynamic that you guys have after starting this journey that is so like profound and actually showing you all of the work that you've put into yourself manifested in somebody else. Then we have your Ethiopian opal, right? So it says, rebirth portal desire. Reflecting the beautiful parts of your soul, Ethiopian opal is a crystal filled with bright flashes of color and revitalizing energy. Full of joy, Ethiopian opal is a high vibration stone able to soothe the soul and bring to, bot bring to mind body and spirit bring harmony i'm sorry guys bring harmony to mind body and spirit ethiopian opal can burn unhealed karma from the past and clear the path for a rebirth like a phoenix a phoenix rising out of the ashes containing a soul holograph 
Ethiopian opal gives you access to different timelines in your life from the past, present, and future. Give all parts of yourself the love that you desire. Virgo, Sagittarius, Mercury. Interesting. We just mentioned those signs and Mercury. So I think that's interesting that there are parallels to that. I feel like this is something that applies to the both of you guys. And this is talking about both of your pasts, presents, and futures. Your futures together, your pasts in your individual life, your presence, what you guys are currently going through and working through. Um, so I think that's interesting I'm also going to shuffle these cards that I've made because I haven't honestly used them in a while so they deserve a little bit of light so let's see one card for you guys um, one card for group three please okay we have chokure Chokure is, oh, and then we have, oh, that's so funny, on the bottom, Mars with passion, right? So, yeah, that's funny because you guys have passion here and we were talking about all of the passion in the pants. Um, and then with Chokure, this is a Reiki symbol that helps to amplify energy, right? So this is power, strength, and a portal, but it really helps to amplify energy as well can be very powerfully cleansing and clearing too. So I just feel like this is talking about this transition that you guys are going through in your life and that they're going through in their life and how it is literally life-changing. Okay, and let's get the dice as the final message for you guys. So we, oh my goodness, we have Virgo, again, Pluto, the f four and 14. 14 to me is talking about temperance, which is that balance and healing. Four is cancer, which I think is the nurturing and home. So nurturing is the type of nurturing that they need to do for themselves and that you guys have been already on the journey to do for yourself. Virgo, again, is also talking to me about healing. And then Pluto is this rapid transformation. So I feel like you guys are going to meet this person relatively soon compared to compared to not. You know, I feel like you guys are going to meet this person within the next few months. Um, so that's pretty exciting. But yeah, that was your reading group three. I know there were a lot of cuts and I apologize for that. A lot of stuff started happening around the time that I started filming your reading. So it's a little annoying, but you got to do what you got to do. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. I would appreciate hearing from you guys in the comments down below. Um, how long have you guys been working on yourselves, you know, and and uh, do you, did you feel like you had parallels with this person when I was describing certain things because this person feels like you guys have parallels with each other you know uh i would also appreciate if you guys enjoyed the video if you gave it a thumbs up and if you subscribe to the channel that would be really great in regards to supporting me and also um you know it would keep you up to date anytime i post a video uh, and yeah, if you guys are also interested in either a private uh, a private personal reading or a custom crystal bracelet, you can reach out to me through my contacts page on my website or through the, uh, the email in my description box below. Uh, but that was it for today, group three. I wish you guys lots of love, all right? We'll do a Korean style heart for you guys, Korean drama. <laughs> um, but yeah, love you guys. Bye. Hi group four, welcome to your reading. This is your group. If you chose this gray heart frog, let's see your your lover in action. Woo! That was fun. He oh, oh my goodness. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I did the frogs thinking this is gonna be cute, but I have had more fun with these little origami frogs than I would have anticipated. I think this this is a great invention. Kudos, I who, who uh, please I, at the risk of sounding ignorant, you know, like who invented these? Was it was it the Japanese? <gasps> oh my gosh, this frog almost jumped on the cards. Wait, no no no, I come on, do your thing, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You you were I believe in you. <laughs> I think this is the only one that has gotten this far because hold on hold on wait 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 you needed more momentum i got you hold on eh, come on you can do it i believe in you oh no that was that was too aggressive 
Okay, let me stop. This is not what you guys clicked on for <laughs> watching paper paper frogs jump. Um, that's what I was saying, you know? I, I did this, I, it was a mistake of mine. I should have done something that isn't as fun to, to do because otherwise, oh, now you wanna jump, hold on. Cause like this, this has, I feel like I have 10 minutes on this video just, just with the jumping, you know? Well, it really is kind of like a pet or something. It's so cute, they're so cute. <gasps> it did it. I mean, two times, but still. <gasps> wow, I'm so proud of you. You guys have the champion heart here. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. <laughs> oh man, I, you know, I got so distracted. There was a message that came through when I was shuffling. Oh yes, you and your person are gonna be like best best friends you guys are gonna be like super extremely close best friends you guys are soul family um this is gonna be like the closest person you ever thought you could ever have in your life okay um yes also i wrote these letters slash love notes they're, they're not really letters they're more like notes um a couple of days ago so <laughs> i don't remember what they say uh but let's get let's get started and i was telling all the other groups too I decided to do these little origami things because I didn't want to just have a plain paper, you know, just laying there or like folded regular. And I didn't want to use the wax seals because last time the wax seals were super cute, but like they ripped the paper and now I did these frogs and it wasn't as easy, you know, as like it took me a while. Uh, but by the fourth frog, I was like ch -ch 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 -ch, folding like crazy. I didn't even need to look at the instructions. But anyway. <laughs> So let's get into your little note. And like I said, these are short. I think I said that in the intro. Um, I'm a little timid. I'm a little shy. I'm not exactly the loud, the loud kind of type. I worry a lot and I care what you think. And I care what other people think when you spend time with me. I don't want to disappoint you. I'll always be there by your side. I'll always provide for you, darling, but you oh I'm sorry guys I'm gonna start that over <laughs> cat <laughs> um yeah I, I feel like I messed that up and by the way when they mention uh that they worry a lot they worry about they care about what other people think when you guys are together it's not that they care about what people think of them just because of them they care about what people think of you not like they're they're afraid of they're they're afraid of putting you to shame they don't want anybody to have bad thoughts about you so they care about like what people think when you guys are together you know they want to make sure that nobody is bad mouthing you or anything like that so let's start again uh, i'm a little i'm a little timid i'm a little shy i'm not exactly the loud kind of type i worry a lot and i care what you think and I care what other people think when you spend time with me. I don't want to disappoint you. I'll always be there by your side. I'll always provide for you, darling. Buy you all the things that money can buy. And if money can't buy it, I'll win it for you. And if it's something you can't be winning, I would steal it for you. I would. Well, I would do it for you. <laughs> I'm a little timid, though I am full grown. <laughs> I've been hurt a lot before, so I worry you'll walk out the door. But you always stay beside me. I've never felt like this before. Just for you, I can, do, I can be strong. I can do anything at all. I will build you a castle if that's what you'll ask of me. I will make sure there's a moat and I'll keep your red carpet clean and I will always stay beside you because you make this worried heart beat. I love you plenty with lots of loads and detergent, your person. I'll keep the dirty dishes clean. <laughs> so this is cute. I feel like your person's love language, the way that they show love, um, is acts of service. I really genuinely think it's funny that your person kept coming through with all of this reference to cleaning. <laughs> like, I love you with lots of, and lots of loads like laundry loads and detergent, uh, very cute. Um, I think your person definitely 
feels like they have Virgo energy because I do think that they do enjoy cleaning. And I feel like you guys, you guys are organized. You like, you like to have things organized, but, um, I also feel like you guys can get like overwhelmed easily when it comes to like cleaning related things. And so I feel as though your person will probably be doing a lot more of the housekeeping <laughs> in comparison to you guys, just cause you know, you guys are really good at a lot of things, you know, but I feel like keeping, keeping everything clean for long you know, like you guys can, you guys could be like, oh yeah, it's time I need to clean. Like, I'm not saying you guys enjoy mess. No, you want clean. You want it more than anything. But, look at this champion go. Um, <laughs> but I just feel like you guys could get distracted or like it's easy for stuff to pile up. And then at the end of the week, you'll be like, oh, okay, I've got to clean because this is driving me crazy. You know, and I feel like your person is like, it's okay. I'll help tidy up the house. You know, they're really sweet. They're really sweet. And then the song that came through was Let's Get Married by Bleachers. Hey baby, baby, I've been gone for too long. I've been strange and lazy, which is ironic because they were talking about cleaning. And I know it's bad when, we're, when we look out, but bad, bad people, they don't live in our house. So I'm gonna look good for you, honey. Get myself together, spend you all of my money. Wow, I, you know when I wrote it out, I wasn't noticing how much, how many parallels it had to the letter that they wrote or the little note. And I know it's hard enough to love me, but I woke up in a safe house singing, honey, let's get married. You don't wanna walk alone, so let's get married. I don't want to walk alone because we don't wanna walk alone or run away. Oh my honey, you think they know what we're going through, they don't know nothing. So I'm gonna get right for you, honey. Take all of my medicine, spend you all of my money. And I know it's hard enough to love me, but I woke up in a safe house singing, honey, let's get married. So change me at all costs. Starlight is star-crossed. Take me so breathless. We could be reckless. Honey, let's get married. Your person is cute. Your person is so cute. I think you guys are gonna be head over heels in love with them i i don't think you'd ever like i just, i feel like like i'm you guys are gonna be so in love with each other i don't think you've ever felt so taken care of in your life like even by parent like if you have parents that loved you which incredible um like growing up you know what i mean uh i i still feel like this person will make you feel like no one has ever taken care of you before them. Not really. Because they just check every single box. They're so attentive. And it's interesting that they are coming across as having these little insecurities at times. I think they determine their worth based off how happy they can keep the other people. Sorry, guys, I'm a G. Uh, in their lives. But they're incredible. They're so in tune. Like, they're so in tune. I feel like you guys even have like a psychic connection, you know, like a telepathic kind of thing going. Um, you guys are so in tune. You, I'm telling you, you're going to be best friends. Like you're going to be best friends with this person and you're going to be like, I'm so grateful I get to spend the rest of my, like you guys are getting married. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you're like, I'm so grateful I get to spend the rest of my life with you. Like you are the one that I want. Like that's it. Like after you, it's no one else. So... I feel like both of you guys are gonna feel that way about each other going forward. Okay, so we have King of Cups. We have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords. The Hierophant or Hierophant. The Knight of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. Pentacles, 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 Pentacles. The, sorry, the Ace of Wands, uh, the nine, la, 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 Page of Swords, the King of Pentacles, interesting, the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Magician, wow, even with this Five of Cups, I feel like you guys both of you guys are gonna cry a lot. Like, 
I'm seeing you guys both crying a lot, but it's not because of sadness. I'm even starting to feel tears in my eyes too. It's like tears of gratitude. Like you guys are just randomly going to start crying because you're so grateful for each other. <laughs> wow, this sounds like an incredible union. You have the Ten of Pentacles again. You have the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the High Priestess. <sighs> yeah, you guys, um, you and this person, it's like, you guys are a match legit made in heaven. You guys really are soul family, like the closest kind of soul family. And you guys are going to be so grateful to have each other in each other's lives, to have you in their lives and them in your lives you know what i mean and i genuinely see you guys crying from gratitude i also taste falafel with white sauce so maybe you guys like middle eastern food or mediterranean food Maybe one, one or both of you guys could have like a little bit of a descendants from, from, from like the Middle East or not just the Middle East actually, though a little bit of like the Middle East, you know, like it could be like Iran or something like that or, or near that area. It doesn't just feel like the Middle East. It could be even um, just that area of the world. So like between Iran and Israel and I'm also even getting like Turkey maybe um that's what I'm saying it's not just it's not just the Middle East because I'm also getting I'm getting like a few different countries but just that section it's like they're kind of in the same they're like a cluster you know what I mean so there are like the traditional like Middle Eastern countries that I'm getting but also and you know like uh um, Israel would be included in that too, like Jordan, Lebanon, um, Iran, uh, you know, Afghanistan, like th that kind of a thing. But I'm also getting, like I was saying, like Turkey, possibly, maybe Greece for some of you guys, maybe Egypt or Morocco. Um, I know Morocco is like on the complete opposite side, <laughs> but still, like I feel, I feel like. It's just that kind of thing. That's what it feels like. Um, yeah. So maybe one or both of you guys are like from somewhere like that. That or Brazil. Brazil is a weird one, but Brazil is in there too. Um, or Portugal. But yes, yeah, so I feel like one second, guys. I need to recompose myself after that. That was weird. None of the other... I mean, I guess one of the other piles had, like, some country-related stuff, but I don't normally incorporate that. But it came through, so it came through. Um, but yeah, the tears. A lot of crying, you guys. A lot of crying from gratitude. It is the sweetest thing ever. Um... I also feel like, again, you guys are soul family. And I feel like you guys are going to have that instant soul recognition right away. You guys are want to have kids together. Like, I'm sorry if you're not interested in children. You know, if you're not interested in having children, then, like, maybe you guys will get, like, a fur baby. But I really feel like this person makes you want to have another human that you guys impart your love and and kindness and stuff too you know so i feel like you guys will whether it's adopting whether it's biological like I, I just genuinely feel like you guys want will want to have a child or multiple childs right children with each other um like that's the kind of like you guys just the moment you come together you're like we're family you know and even if it's just the two of you guys even if it's just the two of us we're family but i want to expand our family it's that kind of a vibe uh, you guys, with the Hierophant here, I definitely feel like you guys are getting married. Like, no no question about it. I know this video, I mean, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to title it yet because I didn't really have a title in mind, per se. Not a, not a real one. Maybe like a couple of rough sketch ones. So, I, it's not really like future spouse stuff. It's more so like your, pers your person. Uh, but I feel like this person it's like 100% future spouse you know like this is this is your 
marriage partner. I feel like you guys are going to have a legal marriage, like a legal document, even though on some level there there is like, um, like I'm seeing some of you guys could go for more like a, like a hand fasting kind of a style wedding as opposed to like a big gathering like I'm not really seeing so much of a big gathering I'm seeing more like nature and it's like it's just for it's just for us you know it's not about all those other people it's just us doing for us this connection is going to be so healing for the both of you guys like I feel like when you got you guys will come together and you will feel found like you will just feel found like you you'll be like I didn't even realize I felt lost until I felt found with you you know the emotional connection you guys are just like this like level to level in regards to your emotional connection uh you guys just get each other you have such a psychic and intuitive connection um i feel like when you guys come together there's going to be a lot of miracles that happen in your life um like you're going to be seeing a lot of blessings, like maybe you're going to start getting a lot of success career wise and they're going to be having a really good like success with their career, which is ironic, right? <clears throat> because of like the whole message with the with some of the timidness and caring what other people think. But I think they care what other people think about you because they could have a lot of people putting opinions on them and their profession relies on their reputation and them having a partner could be like them taking this partner on to be judged uh, with the same standard of expectations that are put onto them because of their line of work. So they don't want you to be judged because they don't want to take you and you know what, does that make sense? Like they don't want to rope you into that, but you're not gonna care because you guys are together. I genuinely feel like it's it's just gonna be brushed off. This person makes you feel so special and you make them feel so special that like other people don't really, don't really matter. Um, and I really feel like they're gonna take good, really, like really good care of you. You guys are both the types to overgive. And because you have two givers coming together, it's like the giving in this relationship is just incredible. Like you guys are gonna be, like you're gonna pour into them a lot and they're going to pour into you and you guys are just gonna be constantly filling each other's cups to the point of overflowing with love. It's so, and that's gonna lead to crying again. Like it's, it's so beautiful, you guys. And like I was saying, like, I feel like there are gonna be some miracles that start happening for you guys when you come together. Like say you guys have this kind of energy, right? That when you come together, like maybe you go out to dinner and for whatever reason, the chef was like, make their meal free, you know, or like uh, you you walk by a little cart with that sells like crystals or something. And you're like, oh, babe, look at this crystal. It's so cute. And they're like, do you want me to buy it for you? And you're like, sure. Or, you know, oh, my ring. Oops, <laughs> that was weird. It's a good thing it didn't fall in the cracks. Wow. We'll talk about that in a second. Um. Wow, I'm sorry, I was so stunned. I was so stunned by that. <laughs> I was so stunned by that, I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of like, it, it disturbed my train of thought, but like you wanna buy a crystal and the person will be like, actually you guys just keep it, you're so cute, we feel your love, just keep it, you know. Um, I, I'm i kind of still like, like feeling a little buzz from this, this, you know. It's interesting because it fell on the ace of wands which like i'm not gonna lie you guys i feel a little sh shaken up by that <laughs> i was a little i don't know if it was scary if that's what you can consider it it was a little sudden it just flew off my finger and it hit the wall and bounced back <laughs> um okay yeah i needed a calming breath after that so I feel like maybe your connection can seem a little overwhelming at times and you guys are going to feel the urge to get married like right away. I think you guys are going to be like, oh, that's the one, you know, and so the ring present itself, presents itself. Um, that was kind of invasive. So yes, maybe other people are really going to be nosy about you guys getting married. Um, Oh my gosh, that's still, like, I'm still trying to get over that. I don't know why that shook me up so much. Uh, but I also feel, I feel like once you guys 
do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The, the it. Uh, I feel like you guys are really going to be like, yep, you're, you're my, you're my spouse. <laughs> you're the person I'm going to spend. Like this was the final, you know, defining fact. Like everything else was a perfect 110 out of 100. And this was like, okay, that if I, I was already kind of set, but this is like, let's do it as soon as possible. Let's go on a honeymoon. <laughs> um, wow, I still feel like that shaken up in my, in my chest, you know? But it's not like a not like a fear thing. It's more like an excitement. Like, oh my god, like so much excitement. So I feel like you guys could actually get engaged pretty quickly. You can have like a destination proposal or something. But I feel like you guys are gonna get engaged really quick. Like it just seems like once you guys actually become an official couple, you guys are gonna get engaged really quickly. Like you just wanna be like, I just wanna lock it in. I know you're not going anywhere and I'm not going anywhere but I love you so much and I want to lock it in, like, period. <laughs> I want to move in with you. I want to live the rest of my life with you. All this stuff. Okay, that's actually very, very sweet. Um, very cute. And even with this card, you see, I just feel like you guys are going through all the burdens together, you know? It's like, say, say you had three bags, right? And they had, like, this one heavy bag, too. You're going to be like, uh, this person, remember I was saying, like, they're like, I'll clean after you and all this stuff, right? And like, I'll do everything right. I'll I'll do it, you know? And they take on this responsibility. And then you're like, but babe, no, no, like, let me carry something. Like, it's equal. Both of you are like, any hardship we'll go through together. And everything is easier because you guys are doing it together. Everything becomes so much, like, 10, like, 70% easier because you guys are doing it together. You're going through it together. You know, that's how close you guys are. And I just, I feel like they're going to be like, let me take care of all your stuff. And you're going to be like, let me take care of your stuff. You know, like, it's so cute. <sighs> okay. Let's see what else we got. And this person is super stable too. I feel like they're super, super emotionally stable and secure. Um, you guys have a very emotionally mature connection. And a very feisty in the bedroom connection too. Okay, next section. So next we all, okay, we have angel, light attribute, helping those in need with no expectation of return, shadow, acting innocent or angelic to mislead others, falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. Um, I never take the shadow attributes of these cards, especially in these kinds of readings, so I just, I don't know why I read them though. Then we have lion, lion. <laughs> We have butterfly. Butterfly fly away. Do you guys know that song? It's Miley Cyrus from Hit Montana Days. Or right after Hit Montana Days. Then we have the bee. Um, octopus. You know what? I don't know why. But like the Hannah Montana song, if we were a movie, has been stuck in my head for like the last two days. I have not listened to that song in like 15 or so years probably more <coughs> excuse me we have turtle so i have no idea where this song is coming from dragon but it is crazy you know <laughs> we have elk um lamb Sea serpent. Oh, very sexy, very sexy. Truth be told, look how cute this owl is. New life. Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. Slow down, pause, and allow things to unfold. And we have Leo. Let me move this down a little. Move you down a little bit. Scorpio. The sun. And Sapphire or Sapphire, which I will read the back afterwards. So give me one second just to see what I'm seeing. What am I seeing? Hmm? 
What do I see before me? Okay. So first of all, your person, saint, okay? Your person is super, super sweet. Super sweet. Super, super, super sweet. I feel like both of you are actually angels. Like you, both of you guys are so sweet. You're so angelic. You're so kind. You guys are so sweet. And you're so sweet together. Like anybody who is not the jealous type, you know, anybody who's like pure hearted, who sees the two of you guys together is just going to be like relationship goals, you know, like you guys are so sweet to each other and together as individuals. And it's just incredible. It's like, people will root for you because you guys are so sweet. You know what I mean? Like the people who you love and who know you and who love you and the same for them are going to be so happy that the two of you guys met because they're going to be like, they're the absolute perfect match for each other. No one would have been better because both of you guys are so sweet. You're so kind. You're so pure. Um, I feel like your person has gone through a lot of transformation in their life. They like change. They like change. They like to experience new things. And I think that that has led them to have a lot of success with their career. I feel like they could have struggled with being a bit of a workaholic at times. They really enjoy what they do for a living. And so, and it's, it's, and because they enjoy it and they put in a lot of effort and energy and, and it gives back to them. So it's like they enjoy their career and their career enjoys them, you know, like they, they, they've received a lot of fruits for, for their labor, um, through their career. I also feel like they're super creative. They're really good at multitasking. Like they're good at putting their attention to many things at once. You know, like how you can have somebody who like reads a book, but you can't like read another book at the same time as reading that book. Cause like either you lose interest or it gets confusing or it's like too much. Like this person could read like five books at once and completely understand the storyline, all the stuff, you know, like their, their mind is like hardwired to be able to kind of make these kinds of things work. Um, so they're a really good multitasker. I know like multitasking doesn't exist or whatever, but you know what I mean. Uh, they're really good at being able to manage multiple things at once and do it well, like do it exceptionally well. I feel like they can take on a bit of like, like something about them feels very much like a shining star, you know, like they feel very much in public eye kind of vibes. Maybe they have some kind of a career in social media or um like some kind of art field or even if it's not it, it does feel like it is kind of creativity related like creative feet like work you know but even if it isn't even if it was something like more businessy or corporate or whatnot uh i feel like they still would have like a prominent image whether it's in their company or something like that like they seem to be in the spotlight they stand out um and again it's interesting with how timid this person was coming across in the letter because like they I guess it makes sense that's why they care so much about why people why people how people see things what people think about you guys because they're here they're under they signed up for this they signed up to be um like to have the public judge them if that's the case or look at them or put out their opinions about them they signed up for this but you guys didn't and that's why they worry in the beginning especially about you guys and when you guys start your family they're gonna worry about that a little too but then you guys just being together it calms down their worries because like it's really like maybe you you get a little worried about it at first too but you realize because you guys are together nothing else matters like it, it literally just comes right off you know it brushes off you um i feel like you guys are going to go on a lot of adventures together like i see both of you guys do actually have a bit more of like an ocean soul kind of vibe um <laughs> y'all gonna be roaring in the bedroom now i'm saying <laughs> with the dragon um and the lion. Oh, both of these roar. That's true. <laughs> I feel like, 
like one of you guys is a little bit more mystical and then the other one is a little bit more like glamorous in the material so like both of you guys are beautiful both of you guys are your own thing you know and you guys are very similar but i feel like they could be a little bit more glamorous in the material world like with stuff and then you're more like mystical and glamorous in a mystical way like magical um mm -hmm. or it could be reversed you know it depends uh I old and I also feel like you guys have gone through a lot of transformations like you guys are very like you guys could even have some mirroring maybe sometimes with some of the stuff because I, I just feel like you guys have such similar pre like you have such similar soul energies um, and again people are just gonna be like oh it makes sense that these guys are together like it just makes sense it clicks and though you guys are both like different right at the end of the day, you guys are both majestic beings and that's why it works. Um, I do feel like you guys are gonna go scuba diving or something. Like I do really feel like the ocean, not just because we have these two aquatic beings here, you know, that doesn't usually mean that, but the way that this turtle is given right now is yes, ocean souls. Um, with the elk, the lamb and the sea serpent. Oh, sea, again, interesting. Hmm? This is also considered the sacral chakra. Also, look at this. this. I don't know if you can see it on camera because of the lighting, but it's got this like hollow kind of a silvery, very cute little ring. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to jiggle it around. Hopefully you can. Um, but this is associated with the sacral chakra in this deck. But these three cards are how your person sees you or views you so with the elk i feel like your person sees you as somebody who's really earthy there is a very nurturing energy about you there's like a, and they feel like you have a very very powerful presence i feel like they also feel as though you guys are divinely guided and you're very 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 wise beyond your years you guys are extremely intelligent and i feel like they guide they kind of consider you guys a, a, they also see you as mystical so i feel like you guys really are the dragon like they well i guess they could also see you as majestic which you know whichever but I do feel like they, they see you as like somebody who is mystical. Like maybe you guys could even be into like light, light, light language or doing tarot card stuff yourselves or oracle cards or some, some kind of like maybe crystal things. Like they just see you as more magical um, and connected to the earth, you know? Like I think they love how connected you are to Gaia. I also feel like they think you're so pure and you're so innocent and throughout all of the stuff that you've been through, your inner child is still very much present and alive and they love that about you. They love the fact that they get to play with you guys. Um, <laughs> the sexual attraction is through the roof. <laughs> I've got my eyes on you. It's kind of uh, very prominent here. I really feel like you guys are visually very pleased with each other. <laughs> <laughs> and and the night time is very fun for you um and them <laughs> i think they think you guys are really sexy like i think they are very much stunned by your appearance and they're very much turned on by you so if any of you guys have any insecurities about how you look throw them out the window because your person is going to be completely in love with exactly who you are like don't worry about needing to adjust yourself in any way like they are just they're the magnitude of your soul is kind of giving for them that's like that's it that's all they need and everything else is just so sexy because it's you you know and they genuinely think you are physically attractive um i also feel like somebody's watching me sometimes i that song is i don't know if i sang that in this group or the last group before um, I also feel like this person thinks that you guys are an open book and I think this is going to be the first person that you feel like you can share everything with and they feel the same way with you like literally everything without any fear of judgment like maybe you have a really good friend that you feel like oh I could share basically almost anything with this person but there are some times when you're kind of like mm, maybe I won't share this one thing and then you have another friend that it's kind of the same but there's only one thing that you won't share with them either you know. Like there's not one true person that you kind of feel like you can just anything that ever comes to your mind completely, completely unjudged share. And this person is that. Like both of you guys are all ears for each other. Um, 
And I just, I feel like when you guys come together, again, you're going to have so many blessings. You guys are going to want to move in together, like, right away. <laughs> you guys are going to want to spend every waking moment with each other. It's really cute. Um, especially in the beginning, because you guys are so excited. And I'm not saying that that is going to fizzle out, but I think you guys really care about each other's self-care. So you are going to be like, oh, you need some alone time and I need some alone time just so we don't lose ourselves in this connection. Because you guys are going to be very conscious of the fact that you still have to take care of yourselves. Um, with relationship patterns uh, and slow down. <laughs> I feel like slow down is kind of letting you guys know because like here you've got this like whole little whirlwind with this couple right and it's like you guys don't have to you don't have to rush <laughs> you may be super excited but you don't have to rush into things like you guys aren't going anywhere you know what I mean you guys are it for each other so you don't have to rush the marriage you don't have to rush moving in enjoy enjoy having your own independent things while being together enjoy like the time that it takes to develop this courtship and relationship. Enjoy the snuggly nights when you guys are just dating because you're going to be that way even after you guys officially come together in like a more legal sense, right? But enjoy and just enjoy the process, you know? Uh, it's not about the end goal. Um, in, in regards to like, it's not about, oh, like we got married. That's all I was waiting for. You know what I mean? The marriage is supposed to be just because you love each other so much and you've already done all of the stuff, but you don't need the marriage in order to do that. So you don't have to rush through it is all I'm trying to say is all I'm trying to say. Um, na -ma -na, ma -na -ma -na -ma -ma. And like I said, with relationship patterns, it's kind of showing me like this is nothing like that you've experienced ever before. <laughs> you've never experienced anything like this. With Scorpio and uh, Leo, both of these are fixed signs. Oh, and you know what? Do you know what, you guys? This is crazy, okay? Leo, the lion. Scorpio is a scorpion, yes, but Scorpio actually has a bunch of different animals that can be associated with it, such as the wolf, the eagle. I believe, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I think, I know phoenixes, but I think you may be able to associate a dragon with Scorpio too. Maybe Scorpio or maybe it was Capricorn. But if it is Scorpio, then that's crazy because then you have like the representation of those two signs as well. Um, but these are both fixed signs. So just like I was saying, these are both powerful creatures. You know, this one is more mystical. This one is more real. <laughs> I'm not saying dragons aren't real. Who Like it's just more like this is what we see more in a like media, you know. Uh, but they're magical and mist like they're mystic they're oh they're magnificent majestic that was the word in their own way and they're both like they both have this stubbornness to them and this power and that's what both of these signs have too right with being fixed and all of this stuff so i just i think that's interesting i think that's going to be talking about you guys your individual dynamic i feel like one of you guys could be more of the scorpio and i'm leaning towards whoever is the dragon is more scorpio energy and then whoever is the lion is more leo tendency so this lion person lives with their heart you know uh they have like a really big kind beautiful open heart and like this dragon person is also like again inside you guys are very similar your souls are um and then with the sun, I just feel like you guys are going to have such a great time with each other. Like, this is just coming together is the next phase for the rest of your life. It's like the next phase that you guys experience of the rest of your life. It's meant to be with this person. You know, it's so cute. Okay. Then with Sapphire, we have royalty, wisdom, and knowledge. Yes, both of these are very regal beings. Fairness rules the kingdom when Sapphire wears the crown. Sapphire wields its power through kindness and wise judgment, bringing good luck and fortune to those who wear it. A gem with a regal presence throughout history, Sapphire is considered to be sacred, representing celestial hope and faith. Known as the Stone of Wisdom, Sapphire enhances focus, concentration, and learning abilities. Sapphire activates the third eye and throat chakras, guiding you towards knowledge beyond this stratosphere. Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius, Moon, Saturn. Okay, 
So again, like they were talking about the, the third eye and the throat, right? So I do remember I mentioned, I feel like you guys have like a very psychic connection. I feel like you guys have a very telepathic connection. Like I'm looking at this bat with the sonars, you know, underneath here. And I also feel like you guys are going to talk a lot. Like this is your best friend. You guys are going to talk about literally, we were just talking about, right? Truth be told, you guys can share literally any, this person will not judge you and you will not judge this person. You guys will just accept everything about each other. It is crazy. Um, it's incredible. Okay. And I also want to shuffle one of these cards that I made, which I haven't used in a while, which is also why I want to shuffle them in for this reading. So let's get a card for you guys. Uh, oi, oi, oi. Oh my. Well then, did I not talk about the bedroom stuff? We have. Okay, let's just take them all, I guess. You guys were quick. So you guys have Lilith with Dark Moon. Scorpio. <laughs> um... And then you have Chiron with Wounded Healer. I love this because it says here, my own, right? And we were just talking about how you guys are like soul family, but it's my own, you know? That's a song by Trevor Hall. I love that song. I love Trevor Hall <laughs> and that song. Uh, I would highly recommend you guys checking out Trevor Hall and that song. <laughs> He's got a couple of really good ones. Um, and then we have Venus with Romantic. So, oh my gosh, marry me. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, sorry guys, my back got itchy. So yeah, it says marry me, <laughs> return to me, like soulmates or what? <clears throat> wedding rings, I forgot. Yes, they're wedding rings. Um, and then with Lilith, this one, <laughs> birthday sex. Like this, this one is all about sex <laughs> like dark sexuality so again i just feel like there's a lot of hints about powerful energy mixing in the bedroom <laughs> so take that to your own as uh, as you will you know but um good for you um i also with Chiron and the wounded healer like I just I feel like you guys are remember I mentioned you guys are so healing for each other like whatever it is that you needed you guys are that for yourselves but you're also that for each other like you just complement each other so well in in that regard you know like you guys don't need anybody and they don't need anybody because you guys started doing those kinds of healing things for yourselves right that's you're supposed to be that way but both of you just complement each other in addition to that you know like they give you exactly what it is that you want in a partner and they help fulfill those needs for you if you're ever having a day where you're off or something like they're they're there like i I've, I've been doing the same thing like for you every single day and i'm right underneath you so if you fall i'll catch you you know you're not going to fall far like you're right in the same place i got you and you're the same for them you see it says let me love you lighthouse um take my outstretched hands you know, I'll show you love. And that, that is a song by a man, a man, a man, what is the name of the person? Sleeping at last. Wait, no, it's not. Take, show you love. You came into my life. Yeah, yeah I think it's sleeping at last. Um, and then there's also, I will let you love me. So this is the break all your mirrors. This is uh, a lyric from, well, forgetting all the groups, I guess maybe it's cause it's not important, but in this context, like they're saying, like, if you ever feel like you're not enough, I'm going to break all your mirrors. You know, it's, it's so sweet. It's so cute. Uh, and let me love you, you know? I mean, look, this, this kind of, like, my own, but also, like, look, he's, like, this Chiron is crying. Because <laughs> I said you guys are going to cry a lot, too. I forgot about that. You're going to cry so much because you just feel so much love, you know? I will show you love. I will let you love me. Like, I think that's going to be a big thing. This is going to be, both of you guys are going to be the first people that you really 
allow in on this deep of a level. I feel like for you it's going to be life changing too because maybe before you guys were like, I don't know if I can accept love, not really. But with this person, it's like you actually accept all of their love. It's incredible. <clears throat> with Lilith too, it's like, <laughs> well, yes, you know, we already talked about that. You guys are going to be very active. Let's just put it that way. Very, very, very active. And then with Venus, we have the marry me, you know. Um, I will always love you. And yeah, I, I just, I feel like, and love, like you guys are really, you guys are going to have such a romantic life too. I just, I feel like everything feels like when you guys are together, the world is seen in rose tinted glasses, you know. And let's shift these cards out to a and do the final dice roll roll call mickey mini no i'm kidding <laughs> torres jupiter one and 14 14 temperance healing soulmates balance okay jupiter expansion luck remember I was saying you guys are going to get a lot of surprises and luck and stuff like that when you guys come together around the time when you guys are going to be meeting with one, I'm also getting very much magician vibes, which I think actually came out in your tarot portion, which again is emphasizing like a lot of miracles are going to be happening for you and gifts from the universe are going to be coming to you when you guys are around the time of coming together. Um, and with Taurus, again, it's kind of making me think of that sensual connection you guys got going, you know, like you guys are just going to love each other's bodies right all up. <laughs> um and you guys are gonna enjoy loving and living together a lot. You guys gonna, you guys are really gonna love living together. I think you guys are gonna get like super excited the day when you're like, okay, my gosh, let's move in together, yay, like for real. And I'm seeing like Aries on the bottom here, right? And Sagittarius with protect. So I feel like you guys are actually going to be really protective of each other. You're going to take care of each other really well and you're going to love each other unconditionally completely but i also feel like you guys are going to have so much adventure and fun together too but yeah that was your reading group four i hope you guys enjoyed i would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below <laughs> um what do you guys think of your person you know uh have you do you feel like you could have met them already or like you're getting close to it or let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, I would, la, 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 la. I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. I would also appreciate if you guys subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of exciting things that I plan on doing on here and I would appreciate your support and you guys could be notified when I put up a new video. Also, um, if you guys are interested in one of my personal private readings or one of my custom crystal bracelets, feel free to reach out to me either through the contacts page on my website or through my email, which will all be listed in the description box below. But yes, group four, that's it from me for today. I'm wishing you guys so much love and light, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, guys.